Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Icebound. As always, we would really appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check the bell so you never miss an episode. Mm -hmm. And of course, while you're doing that, I will read some comments from episode 21 of Icebound. Ooh. Quote one. I watched this episode on Twitch, and oh my god, the cliffhanger. If anyone tries to stop me from watching the stream on Friday, I will bite. <laughs> I just need to know what happens next, or I will explode. Quote number two. You're not allowed. <laughs> Every time a new episode of Icebound drops, I am filled with immense joy and some of the purest visceral anxiety I've ever felt in my lifetime. You guys are amazing. Oh, that's very nice. I love how pleased with himself Derek looks at the end of the session. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the party on such a cliffhanger. Classic Derek. <laughs> like this. And lastly, <laughs> I need to say that the timing of the music is always so incredible. I can never tell whether it's intentional or not, but God, is it impressive. Nice job, Derek, and music. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, so, Derek. <laughs> Good job, music. So make, nice. sure, <laughs> so make sure you leave a comment below, and maybe next month your comment will be included as well. We would also greatly appreciate it if you check out our merch shop, our Patreon, and visit thecrookedmoon.com and become a VIP today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you. We are Legends of Avantress. This is Icebound. Lend us your strength and join us. The sound of crashing waves surrounds you as you stand before the enigmatic tower, its dark silhouette casting an eerie contrast against the frozen landscape of Drakkar. It is difficult to tell if chimes echo in your ears or if it is simply a trick of the wind. You shouldn't be here. Moments ago, you were hundreds of miles from here. Moments ago, you were observing the stars above, next to a warm and crackling fire. Here, you are realizing a new definition of cold. It is as, it is as though the very marrow within your bones is expanding into ice even now. You look again, and the sound of crashing waves surrounds you, and you are looking up at the stone face of a lighthouse. The overcast gray sky feels somehow timeless. Rocky gravel crunches under your feet. The cold quickly is sapped from you, but it is still brisk and you feel no warmth either. Standing in the doorway, an older man looks out at you with a confused but kind expression. What do you mean? We're in Striga, he responds. What do you mean, we're in Striga? The words repeat over and over in your mind. You should not be here moments ago. Moments ago, you weren't here. Anyways, you gather your resolve and step closer, the secrets within beckoning, while the sound of crashing waves surrounds you as you stand before the enigmatic tower, its dark silhouette casting an eerie contrast against the frozen landscape of Drakkar. 
In the distance, it is difficult to tell if the chimes echo in your ears or if it is simply a trick of the wind. You shouldn't be here. Moments ago, you were hundreds of miles from here. You look up again and you are staring at the stone face of a lighthouse. Standing in the doorway, an older man looks out at you with a confused <coughs> but kind expression. What do you mean? We're in Striga, he responds. The words repeat again and again in your mind. What are you doing here? Moments ago, somehow feels like eons now. You gather yourself and step closer. The sound of crashing waves surrounds you. What happens next is up to you. Uh, I'll take my pipe and noticing the sea spray around me, I'll turn it over. <laughs> How long you been on this rock, my good man? Oh, my whole life. My whole life. I am a lighthouse keeper. But but how how did we and where, where did we come? Uh, you got any booze? I was just about to ask you. You seem uh, confused. Uh, you seem a little uh, snowy. Is that? Oh, ah. Well, now that you mention it, yeah, that's strange. Is everything all right? My name is Ilbon. I could use a drink. Do I mean... we stand beneath the lighthouse? I'm sorry? Do we stand beneath at the doorway of a lighthouse? As, as clearly as you can see one, yes, of course. Are you gonna invite us in? I uh, was actually just leaving, uh, and if you want to, uh, you can uh, uh, join us in the house, or just, just adjacent to the lighthouse. I, I, I have no problem with uh, uh, giving you a little drink. Um, that's fine. But uh, there, there are chores to be done, and I was on my way to paint the side of the house. Would you join me if you want to talk? We can. I, I happily answer any questions you may have. We would much appreciate your hospitality. We have been traveling for so long. I, I think. That is a good question. How did you come to be here? Ah, uh, well. Now that you mention it, I'm not really sure. What we were doing previously. Yonia? How much do we remember? All of it. We walked. I look around. Are we like on a rock in the middle of the ocean? You are on, and I'll paint the scene. You are standing on what looks like, uh, if you were to be on a boat and view the lighthouse from afar, mm -hmm. almost like a doorstop, a wedge that comes out of the uh, the ocean itself, uh, very low to the actual sea level on one side and very tall on the side that you now stand, where the actual lighthouse is. Cliffs on all sides. It is an assembly of dark black rocks. And uh, you can see on the side uh, 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 that he gestured towards that there does appear to be a modest house, a lightkeeper's house. And uh, he looks like uh, silver hair, uh, very probably in his fifties uh, or sixties, um, wearing um, patchwork clothes, clothes that have clearly been repaired multiple times, and they're uh, almost like overalls, uh, and uh, clearly shoring clothes, work clothes. Um, the 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 actual uh, lighthouse in front of you uh, is painted stark white. It is tall and beautiful. Uh, you can see uh, windows that clearly spiral on the way up, um, giving you an impression that uh, there would be a spiral staircase should you venture inside. Uh, and there are uh, these gravel paths that, that go in all directions. Very little vegetation. Uh, you don't see anything other than uh, rock and the buildings I've just described. I'm happy to answer any more questions that you might have uh, regarding your surroundings. Are you the only wiki on this island? Oh, no, 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 it, it's me, Ilban, and uh, uh, my wife. Uh, uh, she's, watching the, uh, she's watching the ocean. She's looking for ships, just in case. Uh, we still have some daylight left, but we always try to keep good watch. Well, perhaps we can give you Anne with your chores. Ah. Perhaps I can give a hand with your chores while Mr. Stabat Scotch enjoys your fine brandy. Thank you. That would be welcome. It has been difficult with two. Uh, what are your names? Uh, Mr. Dre uh, Dreadwhite, you can call me Barnabas. 
Mr. Dredwick, Barnabas. And I'm Tai Shen. Tai Shen, I'm Ilban, pleasure. Uh, Queenie March, nice to meet you. Queenie. I am called Yornir. Yornir. Scrim Stabascotch, but Scrim is fine, thank you. Scrim. Very good. Also, I'm not completely heartless. I can give you some gold for the booze. Oh, uh, you can keep the gold. I'm happy to make <laughs> make a gift of it. The sucker. Come, uh, come, come, now. come, come now. Uh, walk with me. Walk with me. And uh, he turns and closes the door, uh, uh, makes sure that it clicks, and then um, he picks up uh, what is next to him, what, uh, clearly a, uh, a box of sorts, uh, made of rough wood, uh, nailed together. Inside you can see painting supplies, a uh, bucket, a, br a brush, that sort of thing. Come, come on. And he starts to, to, to walk. I will silently follow everybody. I'll be last. But I want to sort of look at the surf and just look at all of my surroundings and get a sense of, like, does this feel natural? Does, is the ocean moving in the way that I was, would Ooh. expect? Is it breaking Ooh. on the rocks like I would expect? Is there anything, or is it simulation-esque? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. We're going right for oh, it. Oh no. Is it hollow room-esque? Um, <laughs> what role would you like to use for that purpose? Uh, I can see nature, perception. Nature. Perception. Mm. Insight even. I mean, like, you're trying to, like, glimpse, right? And, like. Okay, uh, I will say that looking to the other side, you look down at this steep, steep <coughs> cliff. You can see rocks jutting up, almost like black teeth, uh, swallowing up, and you can see these large crashing waves that hit, creating this uh, this spray of white mist before sinking back down, um, crashing again and again and again. Make a perception check, and I'm going to use a twist of threat. Mm. <laughs> Oofta. I'm going to roll this one twice. Well, that's a natural one, so it doesn't get worse than that. Uh, that's a nine. A nine total? <coughs> yep. You look down, and your vision feels uh, uh, as calm, calmer than the sea. You look down, and you you can see the rocks. Uh, you can feel the, the gravel underneath your feet. Um, this is what you would expect standing on an island like this, as far out to sea, uh, and you, your eyes trace upwards. Um, the, the house and the lighthouse face the ocean, what is clearly a long, black, uh, a long uh, flat line. But um, in the other direction, you can see very, very, very thin a coast line, what, what maybe eight, nine miles away or so. Um, and in the light of the overcast sky, you do get a sense that this is a well-positioned lighthouse. Um, even with a nine, you can see that occasionally there are rocks that just sort of eddy up and, and uh, jut out from the, the sea. You can imagine that any ship that tried to pass too close to the coast would be in trouble without the warning light of this house. I'll follow behind. I will also follow. As we walk, I'd, I'd uh, walk up next to him. Uh, Ilban, can I help you carry your supplies to the house? I wouldn't mind. That's very generous. Thank you. Here. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Do you get many visitors here? My friends and I, we... We... Uh, we were recently in a land, Drakkar. Do, do you know of it? Drakkar? You were recently in Drakkar? Yes, we just walked from there. He's walking with a bit of a hunch, clearly just from age. Um, you can imagine that he might be taller than you if he were standing up straight, but he actually is a little shorter, um, just for, for having it. Uh, and uh, with his shoulders up, uh, uh, yes, I've heard of Drakkar. That's on, that's on the other side of the world. What do you mean it's recently Drakkar? I could spend another 10 years trying to get from here to Drakkar and maybe not make it. The side of the world, that can't be right. We. Oh, it is right, Mr. Fire Blossom. When we're done, I have many nautical maps uh, and uh, a globe. When we're done with this, uh, <coughs> very quickly, uh, there isn't much daylight left, but very quickly, I would happily show you what I mean when I say the opposite. It is directly, directly on the opposite side of the world. Yeah, maybe the better question is, are we dead? Did we finally starve to death? Did a horrific creature just tear our guts from us? 
And then and now we're just all having a shared hallucination in the afterlife, and we're not we're all just bleeding out in Drakkar? You're implying that we are in some sort of purgatory, reliving the same Promethean nightmare over and over and over again. That's, That's exactly that right. I'm waiting for some horrific reaper to come take my soul away, and I'll never see my friends ever again, or this kindly uh, keeper who's offering me his booze. Mr. Eggers already did that a few years back. <laughs> So did the producers of Lost. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that, Mr. Boy. Oh, Lost, so. no, sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to offer helpful suggestions, all right? Do you think that something could have happened to us in the... Uh, will we remember the light pretty clearly? You remember everything. The star okay. that was like... Whoa. You remember the star. Yeah. You remember um, your, 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 your body shifting and warping. You remember seeing each the other sort figure. of like... Uh, almost oh, get like yeah. extruded and pulled. And you remember flying almost very okay. quickly over the surface of the... So we are not the us that approached the tower. We are the us that are on top of the tower. That you don't know. Oh, fuck. Well, we have memories, though. I'm you saying, have like, memories. We don't have the, only those of, memories. We've got all of You have of memories, these memories of coming to rest <coughs> on your journey of transportation, uh, being pulled and then landing onto the surface of the tower. You have memories of going to the edge and realizing that there is no stopping f a great fall at, on top of what is a snow-covered, icy uh, uh, stone tower. And then looking down, seeing the ripples of ice, <coughs> almost like sound waves and small figures hopping down. That's when you also are remembering this. There was a doubling, if you recall. And now you are here with the captain again, and here with uh, Ilbon, and here in front of this lighthouse. And since that shift, there hasn't been any peculiarities to speak of, but you remember both of those things very clearly. I take it back. Not a helpful suggestion. We're fucking dead. <laughs> this is awful. This is hell. This is one of the circles of hell, and we are in it, and we are stuck, and we are dead. Your friend is very... Uh, you call him Scrim. I think you should call him Grim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this guy in there. <laughs> I don't like this guy no, in there. I'm thinking that when you're laying down. He's very smart and good at plans, but he can be a little gloomy. I, I, I feel that from his very words, yes. Um, if you'll excuse me, I need to. Uh, and he, he takes a few steps forward, and he starts to... Uh, you get up to the side of the house, and you can see this, this sort of ivy has started to grow and grip the side of the house. And uh, he is taking some of his tools that he's ha had uh, hung in his pockets, and he's starting to snip and pull, and you, you hear the frustration in his voice as when he pulls, some of the paint already is coming off. Um, this is clearly his work site uh, that you have arrived at. Uh, and looking at the house, this is, uh, uh, it, it has very steep uh, roof. Uh, it is um, also painted very um, mundanely, almost a whiter gray. And uh, uh, inset l uh, windows that, that uh, have like wavy glass, that thick uh, leaded glass that you would see in, in, in many, many homes like this. And he, he gets to work. The captain steps forward. Oh, this right. could be. This could be very good. I think <laughs> this could be. Uh, if we figure out how, how, what the <clears throat> what the bridge is here, we 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 won't starve in Drakkar. We 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 could we could go back, get the crew, grab them, bring them back here, find out how to uh, 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 um, shift through, and 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 we'll be in Striga. We'll uh, be saved. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but it is really hard to be talking to you and looking to you right now. How does your leg feel, Captain? <laughs> Which leg? Both. My right leg feels a little stiff, actually, yes. Give it a feel for me, would you, Captain? Which leg did he break? His right, His leg. right leg. And you can see him going to the left leg and the right leg, but he spends more time with the right leg, curious and confused by Barnabas' prompt. Ah, oh, this just keeps getting worse. I don't know what we're gonna do. Who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him? It'll probably be me. There's oh. no need to tell anyone. Oh, what, what do you mean? There's no need. Don't. How often do you get to tell a dead guy that he's gonna Scrim, die? We don't know anything. Oh. But now we've we've moved all the way across the world. Are you guys telling me that if I was gonna die, you wouldn't let me know? Queenie could stop pointing it out three hours ago. Are you hiding this from the captain? Yeah, we're doing like an aside thing as he's like checking himself out. I, I'm, you know. Okay. He, we're having an aside. Okay, you keep you keep yeah. it whisper low. Yeah, I'm stage whispering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh. 
We do not know the timeline. We do not know if he's a spirit. We do not know if he still needs to meet his fate or not. Space spirit? I reach into my <laughs> space box. Hey, uh, Bonobos, help me out with that. Come on, throw a little over on my shoulder, too. Okay. Here, take some. <laughs> <coughs> I'll, I'll, I'll casually walk forward and over my shoulder. I, I'm throwing salt at the captain. <laughs> it's like spring. Just, ah, just ah, seeing ah. what's happening. Um, Bonobos, you're worrying me. This seems like good fortune. Wouldn't you agree? I... Uh -huh. it, that it might be, Captain. That it might be. Perhaps we will save our crew yet. Indeed. Perhaps. Indeed. Uh, we may have been caught in the ice, and I am sorry. I am. I am. Oh, but we were so close to that tower, we were able to see it. And now we're here. <sighs> it seems like fate. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, <laughs> Are you not concerned the fact that we seemingly transported halfway across the world? This is unusual, but portals to other places in the world, uh, circles, th th there must be some connection. May I inspect you? The uh. leg stiffness is concerning and could be a symptom of a blood clot. Uh, I was going to uh, remove my heavier garment anyway. It's not cold uh, as it was just a moment ago. Uh, please. Sir, you're the surgeon. <laughs> you may go on. And I want to just sp spend like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like, looking him in the eyes and sort of feeling the leg to see if I can just, like feel some sort of break uh, or anything that would feel off for like a living person. Um, <clears throat> or any sense of undeath or anything like that. He didn't break his leg until on the way back though, right? Right, which is why he was a stiff right leg. It's interesting, you know. Some wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff going on. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You take a few steps forward, and the four of you go to uh, uh, assist, let's say, with uh, pulling vines or uh, uh, waiting for my booze. Um, <laughs> you you get the sense that uh, you're gonna have to find the booze yourself very quickly. Um, but uh, you don't get any resistance um, when you start to like go to the door, open it, start to walk in. We'll say that you uh, actually <laughs> enter the the domicile. Yes, I help myself. You 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 make your way inside. Um, you hear his voice, the uh, voice of Ilbon. Um, just be careful. Uh, 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 don't don't disturb my wife. She's very focused. All right, all right, all right. Whatever. Yeah, sure. You start to make a medicine chef uh, check, and I'll use a twist of bread. Oh, you, you are just ripping me! I love it. I Fuck. fucking love it. Let's Damn. go. Um, while he rolls a uh, dungeon master, oh. I'm sorry if this is a cringe question. Uh, given my backstory uh, <laughs> and how much I've sailed, would I recognize which coast of Stricker this is, and would oh. I have remembered a lighthouse such of this in That's such placement? I would say the DC would be very second low given one. your backstory. Wish me a second um, one here. But you would have to roll for it to make to, to sort of get a sense of where you are on the many seats. Fuck. Um, Damn. What am I rolling? Just a, a intelligence, yeah. but I think it would be an advantage, so it would cancel out the Man, of dread that I'm using. Oh, metal. just right. Tool. <laughs> Going and putting it back to what it was. Intelligence, that'll be a 16. 16 is more than enough. Um, you have a sense, uh, and you've traveled all of the seas. I mean, we never <coughs> agreed on, like, we didn't sit down with a map and been like, yep, here, 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 here. I would say that basically, given where I would have been, like, whaling, and then going back to the Makani Islands or whatever, okay. passing Striga would have been yes. a relative. But it's we, kind of in the way. The way I think of Striga tends to be the southeast and the southwest. This is the northern coast. Would you say that Barnabas has ever gone and shipped, uh, sailed north of Striga? I probably would not have gotten close enough to the northern Ooh. coasts. Okay. I would have gone around the the uh, east side. So you have a sense with a 16 yeah. that this is actually a coast that you've not seen before. Either you passed it in the night, um, but giving, oh. getting your bearings 
um, even with an overcast sky, you have a sense that you've not been in the, uh, near these shores before. Got it. I will just continue to help, and I'll just try to get a sense of my bearings. And this whole time, I'm like kind of like reaching and grabbing my shell and grabbing my flask and like looking off to the sea spray. And I'm very tense, and I'm not sure because I want to like be by the sea and I want it to be real. But Barnabas knows that it is fucking isn't real, oh, so shit. I am like trying to process what to do, just to kind of. But I'm so I'm very distracted. You feel <clears throat> especially conflicted about this because the salt in the air is exactly right. The mm. smell of the of the of mm. the uh, not humid but uh, sea soaked air being what it is. Um, you've not been near the sea for months and months and months and months, and all of a sudden, it's like walking into a room, uh, like your childhood bedroom. All of a sudden, the smells are exactly wow. correct. Damn. So wait, Barnabas has confirmed that this isn't real. Is what you're saying? No, no, no. He, 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 I don't believe he, it. Uh, Barnabas is saying from his uh, from his mind, okay. he he doesn't he believe it. But I'm not confirming it. that as it the DM. It feels like the sea. It doesn't feel. It feels, it feels perceived. totally real. It feels real, real but feels I believe real to- that it isn't. It so feels real. I, to each I'm you. very distracted as far as I'm thinking about my lover. I'm thinking about, and especially with all of the memories that kind of got all jostled by the uh, by the uh, thought devourers <laughs> uh, and everything that came back there. I'm the just, I'm just, I'm very distracted. The tape was beneath the ice. I got a 14. A 14? It's actually pretty good. 14 is pretty all. fucking good. Um, yeah. The first I, one was a natural 20, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, you dread it at the right time, my friend. God. Get ready for that. Yeah. You are um, investigating, uh, and you do the medicine thing. You you feel around the neck, you look in the eyes, you, you, uh, you like a little bit of this. Um, it's uh, thorough. And uh, you do not feel even like pushing against the bone. Ooh, ooh, ah. Pushing against the bone a little bit. Uh, you don't get a sense that there's ever been a break there. It mm. feels whole. Um, it, it's certainly uninjured. You're not causing any harm or, or bruising or anything like that. Um, when you step up and, and, and stand back up in order to uh, finish your assessment, you feel that this is the captain as he would have been in the moments leading up to the tower. You do notice that your hands are now covered in ectoplasm, though, <laughs> strangely. <laughs> what is this white sticky stuff? <laughs> Someone say pump. <laughs> so it was close to the inner thigh. Anyways. You agree, don't you, Yornir? Agree with what? This is the best possible thing we could have found. We were looking for shelter and we found escape. Does it not feel too good to be true? Sometimes you have to take good, too good to be true. I, I, I'll be honest with you. There's a lot less food on that ship than I have revealed. There, there, there's mostly gold. You asshole. There's mostly gold. It's, it's, we, we wouldn't survive the winter if we were truly, truly trapped there. <laughs> I'm Barbos in there. Yeah, dude. Oh, what a dick. What? Did you not expect to be trapped in the ice? Oh. No, 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 no. We, 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 we were gonna we were to sail right through it. The so fall the was only just coming on. It, it, of the world. It, the, the map said it would be fine. The map The, the map? We, we had to shoot the gap. We had to shoot it, think of all of it. sometimes you have to roll the, the 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 dice. Sometimes you have to take a little risk. Isn't that right? <laughs> your hubris brings upon your death. I've seen it in the weird. If you have no one else to blame but yourself, I want you to know that. Well, cast blame all you want. We, we're here. If we, if we figure out how to get back, everyone has saved my, uh, my crew. Everyone, everyone, everyone that we care about is saved. Enjoy your final two weeks. I'll turn and I'll walk inside the house. <laughs> Scrim. Yes. You walk inside through the door. Yeah, I am. Uh, Scrim is 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 oddly calm. Uh, we've had a couple a couple weeks. This has been weird. This is the most normal thing Scrim has seen in a while. He's bizarrely chill. 
as he proceeds to enter into someone else's home to look for their liquor. <laughs> you feel especially confident. Uh, you walk into what is clearly a living room space. Oh, yep, this you, is ha- you, you, you take a quick gander at the at the layout, and you get a sense that the kitchen and <coughs> the dining area would be over here, that there oh, are yeah. bedrooms in this direction, and then on the other side you can clearly see uh, uh, windows that lead out to a porch. Uh, ah. I believe the word is a veranda. Ah, that's very nice. It's covered, <laughs> uh, and uh, you can see the back of a figure rocking ah. there, mm-hmm. uh, just adjacent to a telescope. You turn immediately into the kitchen, and you start to go through the cupboards. You start to go through uh, to find uh, where the booze is. Yeah, I do a little. Okay, not bothering you. All right, kitchen. That's make what I'm gonna make an myself. investigation check I would to like find to. the booze, and I'm going to use a twist of red. I figured. Yep. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Uh, that's uh, going to be a six. <laughs> wow, looking real hot. <laughs> A three. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. Where's the booze? I, 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 I can sense it. Thank you, Trap. Uh, uh, what you, perception? I got an eight. Uh, that right. that can that says Bose. That's that not at all that. the booze. <laughs> what is, what is Bose? No, I can't be. Fucking bullshit. You pull this? open cupboards. It's a liqueur. <laughs> there are <coughs> jars. There are containers. <laughs> uh, you uh, they're empty. You you pull uh, open the next cupboard and there are um, boxes uh, and uh, oh no 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 uh, liquor bottles here. Uh, you oh, you go to um, what is clearly like a small uh, I, I don't there wouldn't be like a refrigerator but like a, a cold box right an ice box right. You open it and uh, you find that the shelves are empty. Fuck. You uh, turn and you finally find the uh, the what what is clearly a drawer that rolls out. And you can see what are clearly unopened, corked, waxed uh, brandy bottles or whiskey bottles uh-huh. or some kind, some kind of booze. And you pull them up. You can see the label on the surface. You can see that they're unopened, and there is no liquid inside of any of these bottles. Uh, hey! Hey, you! I, Ilbon said you'd be in here. Where's your booze? Completely forgetting they told me not to disturb her. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> what is this shit? It's empty. Why would you keep this? Hey! You hear the sound of footsteps <laughs> on the wood creaking and and uh, uh, pushing forward, and in walks an older woman. Uh, coppery hair, also uh, somewhat tattered clothes, uh, and she looks at you with these bright eyes, just staring at you. What are you doing here? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? My name is Scrim. I've come from very, very, very far away, and your very nice husband, Ilbon, said I could have some booze. Of course he did. That's very... (laughs) What are you... I just explained it. I'm just looking for the alcohol. You're not welcome to the alcohol. I haven't met you... Ilbon! (laughs) Ilbon! Ilbon! (laughs) Ilbon! Uh, she stomps forward, and uh, as she does, um, she grabs you by your ear. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and she pulls you out the kitchen, through the living room, stop it, stop out, it, through stop the, out, out through the, out through the door, ah! and she tosses you to the gravel floor. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah! Ah! What the hell? Ilban! Ilban! Uh, he turns, he turns. Um, Oh, uh, Delia, uh, Delia, uh, uh, please, uh, 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 there, 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 uh, these, these, uh, five, uh, six, uh, uh, guests, uh, have arrived at our door, I was, I was painting, I was, I was working on the vines, I was taking care, I know I have watched tonight, but they have arrived and they've offered to help, they've offered to help, so I thought, why not give, uh, some, uh, some booze and some, uh, oh. Ilban, she almost pulled a spoon out of my ear! <laughs> we, we haven't had relief in how many weeks, and you're just going to offer them uh, uh, whatever they want, whatever they care for? We all have to survive here, and we were barely going to squeak by with just two. Nah, I offered Ilban gold, he told me no! Ilban. <laughs> <laughs> for free? Yeah. We're facing the responsibilities of the day, and you don't come to me right away when these people show up. Avoiding our problems won't make them disappear, Ilban. I know that, dear. I... 
Uh, we don't have to argue about it right now. Uh, we can find a solution together. It's 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 it, it's fine. It's fine. It's 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 it, they're they're here. They're they're willing to help. Really, really, really. You're nothing but a blight of on my existence, Sylvan. <laughs> Holy Ooh. crap! I have to go watch the seas now. At least one of us is going to take care of their daily chores. And she turns and she walks back into the house, and the door slams shut. Good God, Sylvan! That's your wife. Huh. Uh, that's Stelia. She She's really, really quite lovely. Oh, I yes. think you just surprised her. She and did a that, number on my can, ear. She doesn't love surprises. You know. Scrim doesn't like surprises either. <laughs> Surprise, there's no booze. <laughs> <laughs> did you find the drawer? It's just next to the, uh, uh, the ice. Yeah, empty. There, there, there must be ten bottles in there. Empty bottles. You buffoon? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we, we haven't touched. We haven't touched the alcohol. It's the, each one should be full. <laughs> Somebody's been taking a nip or two. Good <laughs> lord. Did you find these bottles? Yeah, they're all empty. Look. And I still shake, I still hold the one that I, I had in my hand as she pulled my ear and, and took me out of the, look, 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 empty. Empty, completely empty. I think Sealed. your your friend's mind has been warped or something. Uh, uh, here. Ew. Still good. What? Delicious ah, brandy. Ah, 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 ah. Does anything come out? Nothing but air. You're a mess now, are you all right? You've, you've poured it all, all out into your mouth and, and, and out into everything. You're a mess now, who are you calling a mess? Here, 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 and he hands you a rag. Yeah, fine, give me that. I don't know what to do with this, I'm dry. <laughs> do I perceive him as dry too? Yeah. Who are you holding? Yeah. And I mean dry in more ways, there's more ways than one. This is ridiculous. Pretend you are soaked with brandy, what would you do? Ah, 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 oh no! My, my coat and my hat! Oh. Why am I doing this, Yorinia? There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is just so much! Um, he turns and he starts stirring paint. Uh, the vines have come off the wall. He's, uh, um, uh, do you know how to work a lighthouse, any of you? I have experience as a wiki. I was only an apprentice. I na never made it further. Terrific, terrific. That's that's great to hear. That's great to hear. You'll be you'll be uh, uh, welcome. Um, you can you can man the light. You can uh, 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 clean. Uh, you can you can help uh, help us uh, fuel the engine room. Uh, if you have a preference, really, uh, your experience will be welcome, and I will happily teach each of and and every one of you what's needed. Did uh, your wife say that your resupply was light? No, it's only just arrived. Did I mishear that? And you f feel the confusion based on the conversation that, that was being had. When relief came, him be feeling like it had only just arrived and her feeling like it was months away or weeks away does create a conflict in your brain. I'd gladly man the night, man the light for you, Ilban, for your hospitality. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you need? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, we don't have much in the way of, of places to sleep or, or anything like that, but I'm sure we can figure out uh, some kind of arrangement. Uh, you all seem nice, nice enough. <laughs> we do not need shelter. If but we will take. Room. We will take shelter on the floor right here. I slept on the floor of a lighthouse. I can't imagine you sleeping outside of the house. Uh, if the storm hits, it can be brutal, brutal out here. Brutal as your wife. Oh. <laughs> Scrim. Oh, sorry, sorry. We'll take whatever arrangements you have. Uh, we, we, we really, we really will. Uh, uh, we're so grateful, um, Ilban, for your uh, hospitality. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Captain, you relax. Take a load off. Be comfortable in these next weeks. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, look at the sea before my watch, if you don't mind. Uh, please, please. Uh, the extra uh, 
uh, hands, uh, the extra pair of eyes, the extra minds that you also have, that's really very important to me. I, uh, it's been, it's been a little lonely, and uh, your, your presence is welcome. We can tell each other stories, and uh, I can show you my maps. I'd love to learn more about the, the area, the world, see where we are in relation to where we came from. And we're happy to help earn our keep. Whatever, whatever chores you have to do, some of us, whatever chores you have to do, we're, we're happy to, to support with your home. Take off your, the, the heavy clothes. Uh, if you're willing to get a little dirty, I'm, I would take, I have a second brush. Sure, please. And Taishan, you begin helping, and you make short work of it. You start to uh, 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 paint, paint the, the over the vine pulled paint, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty soon you're looking at what is very freshly cleared uh, wall, now pristine. Barnabas, where do you go to think? I'll go outside, and I'm gonna go out if there is like a <clears throat> like a jetty or something that would probably be dangerous for anyone that wasn't a Triton. <coughs> Um, I would go stand as close to the sea as possible, even if I could get like my ankles or my uh, up to my knees, like in, in in waves, just to kind of feel the sea spray, smell it, and just try to feel if 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 this feels real, if I can feel my lover, if I can feel and kind of try to make sense of all of the confusing stuff that's been happening since all of the dream eater stuff, okay. and my dreams kind of starting to have th those memories come back. With me. You start to walk away from the. <laughs> Top uh, the cliffs <coughs> towards the sea, where th it is lowest and closest to the water. Uh, Queenie, you are near Scrim. You are watching Taishan help Ilban. And uh, what are you doing as Barnabas begins to walk down the curving path towards the towards the sea? If we've resigned ourselves to staying in the lighthouse, then Scrim would immediately go stake out the best spot. Okay. Okay. And just wait for Barnabas to come back. He knows uh, that he's doing his weird thing, doesn't want to interrupt. Going in and being very, um, <laughs> uh, perhaps not being careful. However, however no. Scrim would, would do it. Oh, but you, you walk with in. Haste. And um, you Dips. see that one of, one of the bedrooms <laughs> is, uh, uh, like, empty. Uh, and there's almost, like, boxes stacked around, um, just clearly uh, unoccupied. What, what, what might be a room for two or three more. And then the other bedroom is clearly where Delia and Ilban sleep. Uh, it's clearly been, like it, the bed is unmade and uh, it, it, it's lived in, right? So you get a sense that there's a second room. Yeah, I would go stake it out and just start like getting comfortable. Okay. You immediately put your things down. You uh, uh, take off your heavy blanket. It's a little hot. Uh, it, you were originally, you know, very cold, if you'll recall, just before your encounter with the to tower. So um, you're starting to acclimate in those ways, uh, as strange as this experience may be. And we'll probably just contemplate everything that's going on, and again, is like weirdly calm about it. But we've experienced so many weird things in the last like couple weeks that he, Scrim's kind of like, kind of rolling with it. Okay. Weirdly. Okay. Your name, Queenie? I would follow behind Barnabas very slowly. I'd give him plenty of privacy, but I want to join him towards the sea. You let him get 100 paces out and then begin to trail. Um, Barnabas, you may or may not be aware of Yornir's following, but um, that is what you begin to do. Um, Queenie. Uh, Queenie would fall behind and scout the land, mm. but specifically commune with her bees, a one, and have it fly up as high as it can go. Oh, okay. And see if it ever reaches an impasse. A dome. <gasps> Um, you send uh, a scout, uh, and knowing that your connection to it could be miles in any direction, and it starts to go up, and you're are, you're following uh, along with your near is what you said. Uh, I'm just kind of scouting the the land itself, <coughs> or what grows here, if anything at all. Uh, if there are any herbs or plants or anything that I recognize. I won't make you roll for it. There's very limited <coughs> vegetation aside from like lichen or uh, a mold on the side of some of these rocks. Um, there doesn't appear to be any like trees or bushes or anything along those lines. Um, nor does there appear to be any wildlife, uh, except for perhaps um, the occasional seabird. 
uh, that has come from the coast miles from here. Uh, you send your B up and you really focus. And again, I won't even make you roll for it. Successfully, it goes up as far as you want it to, to feel confident that it's not hitting a wall or uh, uh, that, that, that it's not um, uh, passing through any sort of threshold of magic or, or anything like that, especially given your experience in Ogreton. Yeah. Perfect. And then with that, I just go try and find Scrim inside and set up uh, my bunk somewhere near him, so. You begin to make, you get, <laughs> you begin to make the space for yourselves very yeah. much. And um, I have to use the restroom, so that's where we're gonna take a quick break. <gasps> I was just thinking that I wanted more coffee. With our new break overlay. Whoa. Whoa. I I 13 it. folk horror subclass. Okay. Barnabas, you walk down the curving path, past rocks, past uh, small, small, small structures, and you find yourself at the base of this short island. You've walked for 15, 20 minutes, and you really are taking in that briny air seeing the oceans crash, you can get close now to the space where the surf really comes in. The tide actually crawls up and then back down what is something of a rocky beach. And you're able to take a few steps forward and feel the cold, brilliant ocean water hit your feet. You may or may not be aware of your near you may or may not be oh, caring. No, absolutely not. But it submerges your ankles, your shins, your knees. Very soon you are well into the surf. And what happens next is up to you. I'll step in and I'll feel the waves hit me. And I'll smell the I'll smell the sea and I'll feel it spray on my face. And I'll grab my shell and I'll hold it close to my chest and I'll close my eyes and I just want to say does I want to sense does this feel right do I feel like she is there do I feel the same way that I would feel as I had for however many years it has been since I'd found the shell since when I was by the sea near the sea staring out before I even you know deigned to to put put it to my ear you step into the ocean and you grasp the bridge to your lover, to your goddess of sorts. You hold on to it and you try to just feel the rhythms of, of the waves. And I need you to make a religion check at disadvantage because I'm using a twist of dread. I oh, oh my fucking God. bastard. I, I'm calling it out. Advantage is a chill, favorite moment. They're just absolutely ripping dreads yeah. left and right. Every I single love this role. shit. I love this. Every, Every single, single role so far. I'm going to talk about it more later. I love that. God in tier. this In this realm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh. Oh. Like the plus one Domain to expansion. Yeah. No, uh, oh. the advantage we got in Ogreton for every int check. Some sort the of yin and the yang. Two ah. sides of the same coin. Ah. Wow. Eleven. Man, that's good. What can I, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? <coughs> A surge like the waves of anger wells up in you as you clutch your shell and hold it against your chest. Because you <laughs> feel no connection. You don't know if you held it up to your ear, if you would hear a voice at all. For a moment, it feels like you are disconnected. None of this is fucking real. <sighs> I am not here. And that means you are not here.
What should I do, my lover? Sing for me. Please. May I see your eyes once more. I beg of you. And I'll put it to my head. Eons beckon. A tapestry. Weaving through a veil. Can you hear the strands unraveling? Whispers of... Glimpse the chasms of unending, fractured existence bound by the tendrils of insatiable stars bleed, ichor straining against the fabric of reality, swirling through a void of forgotten aeons. You gibberish, just hearing the same voices whispering over and over, echoing, echoing. And it's not her voice. No. And I... <gasps> For a moment, just let's heave it up and getting rid and I stop myself. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my love. No, and and I'll put it back. Heat of emotion that you hear this crunch, not hiding itself. The sound of footfalls behind you, and the sound of the door near, not 10, 15 feet behind you. Mr. Yornir, this is a cursed place. This is not the sea. This is not my love. The whispers I hear are those of the deep, yes. But deeper than even where she dare swim. I know that. We are helpless here. I would have been like a hundred feet back, but then as soon as you oh. call out my name, you got a booming voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You hear the voice. faint, yeah, no. the faint crunch of feet. Um, but still close enough. Like if this was a, a Robert Eggers movie, you'd be freaking out on the beach and <laughs> like cut to the, the sea, and you just see your ear oh. like up on a hill, and you hear the boom. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, key now. Yeah, I, I was this fucking <clears throat> close to making the overlay four by three. No. Oh, and I was like, God. we've had so much to do. I don't want to. No put time. That, I don't want to put that. We, up. I could have made it all. We could all be black and white. I know. Oh. We talked about this. Do you remember? I asked. I don't you remember this. Like four or five months ago. Like, how hard would it be to do black <coughs> and white? I can only get so erect. And I. Are just, you fucking kidding me? I, oh, I might publish this black and white. Just yeah. Just. Put I, it, I'm yeah. just gonna. I'm yeah. just gonna turn up the fucking yeah, crank easy. the contrast. We'll do it. Okay. Oh my God. That's fun. Anyway, I will slowly. Mr. Yornir. What do you mean? Oh, this is not the sea. The this waves is... act as the waves. No, do they, not? they fucking do not, Mr. Yornir. I hear the songs of the sea. I hear my lover, eyes as green as the sea. I hear her call. When I stare out at those waves, when I stare at the horizon, the sea and the sky, I know the sea. We are not there. What I just heard in my shell. Voices. Whispers. Things I've only heard of. Driven sailors mad. Driven wikis mad. And you have never heard them before from this shell? No. Do you swear on this? I swear. On the woman I love. Be she live or dead. I will take my hand and turn it over. As I cast Druid Craft. And I want to create a tiny harmless sensory effect that predicts what weather will be at my location for the next 24 hours. Oh. And it can if, if it might manifest as a golden orb or clear skies, a cloud for rain, falling snowflakes or snow, and so on. Oh, he's flipping through pages. This isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the whole icebound book out. <laughs> I've heard such gibberings, ravings of madmen who rave about strange 
black and green reefs. Cities rising up from the depths. Do the wikis seem mad to you? Something ain't right. They pretend like this seems natural to them. This is not the sea. Monsieur Jornier, I don't know the land like you do, but I do know my home. I look at my palm. And you're attempting to? I'm attempting to use Druidcraft, and one of the features that I can choose is a tiny harmless sensory effect that predicts the weather uh, at my location for the next 24 hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you do that, and you see a unexpected image. You look down in your palm, and you hold it up, and you see a blizzard. Snow blowing oh, back and forth, sheets of ice. Oh, but inside of that image is a second object that disturbs you. You see a tall glass object faceted with copper, four faces, and it turns very, 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 very slowly, punching light out. Even in the uh, bright of day, uh, the afternoon, like this, it turns very, very, very slowly, the light hitting each one of your fingers, five of them in total, and then eventually turning around, spilling light in both directions as it continues to spin and spin and spin before the sensory uh, uh, illusion evaporates. Six seconds, yeah. Or two places. Hi well. Hidden by snow. This is so fucked. Did you see this? What was that, Mr. Yornier? Had I ever seen anything similar? Is it like the, the Hexature Armament? Is it... Like anything else I've seen before. Make a um, intelligence or history check, and uh, I'll use a twist of bread. Oh, You've been saving these for years. He's got a lot of them. <laughs> oh, you bastard! No. Um, I doubt I'm proficient in I'm stealing uh, this, Derek. It's really good. It's very good. Yeah, that's a ten. Oh, I'd say even with a 10, you look down and your the, the image fades, your magic drains, and you look up to the lantern room at the top of the lighthouse. And you think of spinning lights. It is the light, oh, the top of the lighthouse. Some enchantment in the light, then, Mr. Yornir. I've heard of Wookiees going mad, believing there to be something, hearing whispers like I just heard <coughs> from my shell. There is something. I told you that I saw it. There is something in the light that I saw, and I projected myself towards it. What did you see? You didn't tell us, right? Maybe not. No, I don't think you did. I don't think you did. What did you see, Mr. Yornir? I saw a very faint figure. It was just barely visible in the light. In the star? In the star, yes. The dark, bright, enchanting star. And it's connected to this, to this, and I'll point at the light. Shall I go smash it right now, no, Mr. Yornir? No, do not smash it. We do not even know where we are, or when we are. Did you see the blizzard? It means that unless there's a blizzard here in the next 24 hours, the land or the gods knows where we really are on top of that tower. Barnabas, have we heard the cry of any seabirds since we've been here? I don't believe I have. Have I? Uh, I would say that when you first arrived, you feel a faint tingling that it felt natural that you heard seabirds. But looking around, there appears to be no forms of life in any direction. 
Was it just your association with crashing waves that created that sound in your mind? How fast can you swim? Say less. <laughs> what side of the island are we on? Uh, I would say that you are on the western side. Uh, that um, if you were to look at a map, and I'm facing you, uh, this is this is the western side. This is the actual uh, uh, doorstop. The lighthouse would be on this wider side here on the eastern edge, and uh, uh, south to the coast that I described, that thin coastline that's about eight, nine miles away, and then north to the expanse of sea going to the poles. I will take the north, you will take the south. Let us meet on the shore by the lighthouse. I like that plan. I'll crack my knuckles and grab my anchor out of my netting and just drop it onto the ground with a thud, pull off the netting and get rid of the harpoons. You make your plan and you begin to make action. It is, it is time to figure out what is happening. <coughs> you start to make your way up and you start to dig into the plate of delicious food that is served in front of you. As all five, uh, six of you are standing in front, uh, sitting in the dining room, mm, um, sitting mm. with the captain there, sitting with the um, two uh, strangers uh, who have welcomed them, you into their homes, uh, Ilban and Delia sitting on either end. And it is clearly nearly night for the sky is uh, no longer overcast, but starting to redden with the setting sun. Do we feel, Queenie and I feel, as if we were in the lighthouse and suddenly we are here? Is there a loss of time, or do we feel like uh, there was a natural progression and things happened between uh, the time that we went to the lighthouse and now we are here eating? For you, I would say that it felt very natural that you got uh, uh, accommodated ah. in your in your room, uh, that you were uh, that you explored a little bit um, of the abode that you found. I'm not questioning this uh, at all. That, that, yeah, exactly right. Exactly ah, right. This is delightful. But you pull your fork out of your mouth and you look down at the plate and looking at all of the plates, just like the booze in the bottle, everything is empty. There is nothing in front of you. All, all of a sudden, I'm instantly snapped back. Ah. Ah. Delicious, Delia, as always. Thank you. And then I'm looking at Ilvan. I want to thank you all for your uh, contributions to the chores today. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to uh, get everything that we needed done done. Uh, I have to make some uh, records in my log, uh, and and uh, I need to show you uh, the map uh, just after we we eat, and then I will be on watch for the remainder of the evening in the lantern room, uh, or rather the watch room, uh, just under, of course, the light. But uh, thank you for cleaning it, uh, Queenie, and thank you uh, again. I can't I can't uh, believe our, our good fortune. Am I hungry? I'm starving. I'm starting to get upset. I'm tapping my fork on my dish. I'm looking at your near. I'm scowling at the rest of the table. I'm not trying to hide this at all. Scrim is pissed. Uh, Delia's voice rings out. Don't love chicken? Everything all right? I would love chicken, Dahlia. Well, perhaps you don't enjoy it prepared in this way. Prepared in what way? <laughs> It's a simple uh, 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 chicken dish, <coughs> a little uh, dried mushrooms, perhaps, but it is, it is, it is... Don't all speak at once! Oh, it sounds so good, but I ate all mine already and I don't even remember it. You've got a full plate of chicken in front of you. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? There's nothing on this plate. Ilbound and Delia share a look. And for a moment, you kind of get a sense that these are people who have lived with each other for decades. They may have their dance moves, but when you say this and they are clearly confused by your words, they think very strangely of you. Is everyone else hungry? I'm eat, eat, eat! Here. I'm starving. First no booze, now no chicken. Are you kidding me? I'm hungry as well, Yonah. I don't understand. There's nothing on these plates. You are not seeing eye to eye. Make an intelligence check, Scrim. 
<laughs> you don't even have to say it. The captain. Uh, oh. uh, this is really, really quite, quite good. I, 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 I apologize for my friends. Um, once we understand. Oh boy. Oh, my apologies. No, no, don't save it. I got a four. <laughs> I'm not saving that. You got that one for free. All right, I'll take that one for free. I got a four. You got a four? Oh, yeah, I have a plus one to intelligence. I rolled a three. Brutal. Ah, oh, emperor. No, it's just, you know, that's just scrim things. Something tickles in the back of your mind. Yeah. As you go back and try to recall what happened after your transition back from the tower. After you skipped all of those weeks. But it's escaping you in ah. these moments. <laughs> okay. If I posit a thing and I, nah, that's fine. That's fine. Andy's remembering things, but Scrim doesn't remember any of them. Oh, well. uh, Scrim's hungry. Yes, 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 yes. My, our, you, our gracious host. Mm. Uh, why don't you take the night off? I know it's rare to have visitors to your lighthouse, and with my experience, I'd be happy to take care of the light myself tonight. That is a very kind offer. You, uh... I insist! You have a lot of experience. <clears throat> you hear the voice of Delia. It is our sacred duty to watch the light. Why sacred? We've lived here our whole lives. We get help from the mainland to make sure that not a boat fall. If you were to take that responsibility on, I would ask my husband to stay with you. Well, surely it would be so nice to spend maybe even an hour with you, hear, hear the stories of yourself on this island. I could brew you a, a nice cup of tea. Barnabas could mend the lighthouse by himself for just that brief period of time, and, and then you could go check on him if you think that anything could possibly be awry. Make a persuasion check. At advantage because Barnabas is helping you, but with a twist of bread, so just straight. Hey, it's a straight, it's a straight <laughs> one. Okay, Let's go. Persuasive. Oh, let me, get, let me get back to the right page. Persuasion, you say? That's where I'm pretty good. 19. Oh! Let me know. Fine, fine. Throw caution to the wind. Should anything happen, it'll be on your head. Oh. Thank you, dear. Thank you. No, I, I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, it, it, it means so much uh, to have uh, an extra set of eyes, and uh, as you can imagine, it's it's twenty four seven. One thing after the next. Just. Uh, 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 the, the cleaning of the lenses, uh, hauling uh, the, the, the fuel, uh, making sure that uh, uh, everything is oiled and, and, and ready to go. I can help you get you that far, and then when night comes, I would welcome the rest. <laughs> There's a reason why I never made it past Apprentice Wiki. Wasn't cut out for the job. But I think I can handle one night. You should get your well-earned rest. All the while that this is happening, Queenie is pretending to struggle to cut her chest. It is clearly not there. Really. <laughs> you are pretending to like do the most. Not, not of to eat, but like <coughs> she's really struggling to cut through it. Like maybe there's a bone there, and she's trying to get that joint between the bone, the two bones that connect to pop them apart. Well, and she's just really, really struggling. Um, and then at one point, when there is a, uh, when Delia isn't Delia isn't paying attention. Queenie is going to, sleight of hand, make it look like the knife <coughs> slips and the chicken flies at her face, <coughs> but she's actually throwing the fake chicken to see if anything happens. If they actually see this food, couldn't they get hit by it? Is like. So your 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 hypothesis is if I do this with fake food. Yeah. I'm going to... It, 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 I'm can going I just to not see what's here? Imaginary food, food <clears throat> hook yeah. style. Yes! Mm. Am I just not, doing it Am here? I just not seeing? <laughs> I was just thinking. It's like, hook. Oh, man. But she doesn't want it to seem obvious. She doesn't want to That's just grab the chicken yeah. and throw at her. So she's trying to make it seem like she... Queen is on, on some imaginary uh, pie. Do you believe in the chicken? 
<coughs> create the impression that this is an accident. <coughs> Make a deception roll. And I'll use a twist of bread. Yeah. Okay, well, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. I can imagine that this would be difficult to fake. Yeah, even Oops. if it's not difficult, I flung it's fine. a chicken breast into your face. So I'm not gonna fake it well. I'm still, <laughs> still gonna try and do it if I can. Uh, it would be a six to, oh. to make it seem like it was an accident. But with your ranger accuracy being what it is, you uh, make the gesture, not feeling the weight of anything against your knife, but imagining that if there was chicken, that I would flick it in such a way in order to smack Delia in the face. Mm -hmm. And as the conversation comes to rest, you see her get hit. She visibly reacts to nothing but something. And she is hit in the face and uh, uh, she turns to, what is the meaning of this? What are you doing, you stupid, insolent, insane, how, 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 how could you have uh, let this happen? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just a dumb old country girl. Get, 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 get out of here, get, you're not allowed any more food. All right, my bad. Just hop on outside. Uh, 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 oh, pardon me. I'm gonna go make sure that our, our our country gal is all right. I'll be back, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go off with Queenie. See that you do. Oh, she was used to eating in pig pens and on cornfields and whatever else farming folk do. Of course, of so, course, of course. Uh, not, uh, not, not sea folk like us. Is a tornado of rage, and you can feel that. Uh, pulsing uh, uh, frustration and confrontation inside of her, uh, uh, just under the surface. And Scrim, you leave a very tense room as you make your way out into the uh, fresh night air to join Queenie. You can hear uh, Delia just, I don't understand, I don't understand. You find yourselves alone on the, on the porch. Holy hell, what was that? What did you do? Oh, I just threw chicken in her face. Like, well, there wasn't actually chicken on the plate, you knew that. Well, I mean, yeah, but something happened. I mean, you did something. Yes, yeah, so I was just trying to figure out if they see things we don't see. Because clearly, none of us are seeing what's on this plate. You definitely didn't spill alcohol all over yourselves. But they seem to believe it really strongly. And so I had to figure out whether it was belief or real. Because maybe they just have been here so long, they're like, I want to believe there's food here, so I see it. But if she has to physically react to something flying towards her face, that's, that separates the belief from the reality for me. So, I don't know what the hell's going on. You're saying you think it's real to them? Oh yeah, for sure. So here's the thing. I'm still not entirely convinced we're not dead. <clears throat> but if we were dead... You might be. Well, here's the thing. If I was, someone might have claim to my soul. And, All they're, right. and they're not here. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking about trying to contact them. You think that's a good idea? <gasps> no, it's a horrible idea. And quite frankly, I've been way too calm about all of this. But at the very least, we could see what happens. Well, we could. But right now, we're kind of up Shit's Creek without a paddle. I don't want to be up Shit's Creek without a boat. So we wait? Yeah, I think that's kind of a last minute kind of thing, because right now this sucks. And uh, you start calling in uh, someone who's got a claim to your soul before you're even dead, and you might be making deals you're not ready for. Well, I'm a little late for that. The whole time we're having this conversation, I'm rubbing a gold coin between my fingers. I'm not gonna ask what you did. <coughs> you don't know you did something. Yeah, well, it may... <laughs> let's just weigh our options, right? We'll wait. Yeah. We'll wait and see what happens. I'm not saying you take it off the table completely. I'm just saying you save it for dessert. Well, I would have gone to Yornia, but he would have just told me no. I thought maybe you might vote in my favor. Well, I think if she continues to be like that, like her emotions are going crazy, right? Like I just threw chicken in her face. Well, I guess that was kind of rude. She picked me up by my ear. Well, I've thought about doing that a few times. We don't have to go back in there, do we? No, we stay out here. It's kind of nice. Yeah, just, let's just hang out here for a while. Let yeah. things cool down in there. It's not like there's anything to eat in there anyway. Right, and I continue to rub the coin. What would you do if you were going to call on him anyway? How'd you do it? Do you even know how? You ever done it before? It's, it's, it 
feels like I, I kind of know, but I don't know. You know? It's in there somewhere. I can, yeah, I know. I can feel it, but I'm still getting the, the hang of all this. I, look, everything you guys said about how if, if I was going to be dead, I'd be dead by now. So clearly these powers, they mean something. Maybe I need to lean into it a little bit. Yeah, more. maybe he wants you to level, level up your soul before he claims it or something. Uh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Well, I don't know. Uh, what's the weather like around us at the moment? I know that there's crashing waves. It's not as cold as your car. Is it wet and gross? Is it mild? Is it's it okay? Moderate. It's mild. Uh, it, it feels even a little warmer than it was in Ogerton. Um, and if this were the other side of the world and we're going to play <coughs> Earth games about it, then it would be summer here in Striga, even as northern uh, as it is. I got an interesting idea. I'm all ears. It ain't as cool as calling on whatever owns that coin in your soul, but it was based on the conversation that Barnabas was having in there with those, with those two, and how she got really up in arms about the idea of him needing a chaperone for that lighthouse. Why don't we go check it out? There's no one here watching us, and we know where they are. Oh, you know how mad Bonobos and Yorni would be if we did that? I know. You want to do it? <laughs> after you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hop in front of him and start walking towards the lighthouse. You'll have to describe the plan that you have for me in a moment because we're going to return to Yorni or Taishan and Barnabas. You're still there. Uh, Delia uh, has uh, left. You are, uh, she, she did not finish her meal, uh, seemingly, and uh, she has gone to the bedroom to stew or whatever it is that she is planning to do. Ilban instead and the captain are sitting with the three of you. Um, that was a delicious meal. <laughs> thank you, Ilban. Uh, thank you for your generosity. I, I, I know that you probably uh, plan for less than the, the Five, six, yeah, the, 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 the seven of us. Uh, eight? Eight is it? Uh, the eight of us. But uh, uh, we really appreciate it. We will, we will make our... Um, uh, we, we will pull our own weight very much. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry for my wife's outburst. Um, if you're all done, if you're all done, uh, then I would ask uh, if we could move into the living room and I could show you the nautical maps I promised to show Tai Chen. Tai Chen. I would love to see them. Please lead the way. He uh, guides you, um, and he uh, pulls out uh, a few maps. And he's no, no, not this one. His moves are very slow and deliberate. Not seemingly just because of age, but because of the um, <coughs> nature of his personality being what it is. And uh, eventually he comes across a few, a few pieces and he rolls out this long, on like a drafting board, he rolls out this long uh, world map. And you can see all the meridian lines stretching out. You can see the shapes of the different continents, as crude as they might be, still labeled and, and, and marked. And you can see there's Striga up here and Drakkar up here. You see these two, two continents? You say you, say you, you came from Drakkar, Daisha. The last thing I remember is we were on Drakkar and we were... It's so hard to recall now. It's it's hazy, but we were walking through the snow and then we approached a tower and then the next thing I know, we're here. I have heard Drakkar being described as a, a brutal land of ice and snow. It was tough to... Make do while there. It's, I've never experienced cold such as that. You think you can you can get through, but even with animal skins and fire, the nights the nights just chill you to the bone. Well, I can't explain why you are here, but I can. Come over here. You see, you see this globe. He spins it, and he stops his finger. We are here, on the northern coast of Striga. If I turn the globe, the southern coast of Drakkar would be about here. See, literally polar opposites. 
You're, you're, you're as far away as you could possibly be, according to this. Do, I guess I wouldn't know this, but are there any of those big, like, um, like navigation calipers that they use to like chart on like globes and stuff. You look around and you find uh, in a uh, someone who, who has to have as much nautical experience as Zildon's clearly does. Certainly, you find those calipers. Do you know how to use these to confirm what he is saying? <laughs> <laughs> I will take the calipers and I will basically confirm. I'm presuming that it is a confirmed that the basalt tower and this lighthouse effectively are poles through Avantris. If you could take, if if you could take an orange fuck. <laughs> and you could drive a spike through it, where you are on the map that he's indicating is exactly the polar opposite. Holy shit. You Turn see? On the, table. The, the other side of the world, that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't I? But that's where we were, right? I perhaps were having ocean madness. <laughs> you haven't been on the seas very long. Perhaps we've just been at sea, lost in doldrums, in the great sea, and we just happened to wash up here. Do you Wouldn't that be something, Ilbon? How long have you and your wife been here? Since we were children, oh, really. Uh, uh, How many we... times to the mainland? <clears throat> uh, we we go we go from time to time. Uh, it's uh, been some time, really. <sighs> well, I have a favor to ask. I ever since I failed to really become anything more than apprentice wiki. I've had a bit of a dream. I know I'm an old man now, but when I was a young lad in my early 20s, it was a dream I had of, of how do you keep the day straight? I'd love to join you at your log when you enter the details of the day, if you wouldn't mind. I know that uh, Delia mentioned something about some sort of sacred charge. This is the very room. I would love to see, assist. See, see, see the, sh the bookshelves here? Uh, every month? When relief comes, we oh, yeah. deliver another book, yeah. and I fill it out with as much detail as I can. With the hours I'm awake, I fill it out uh, every hour. This is this is today, and you can see it here. Well, thank you very much. You pull, you pull this weathered journal into your hands, and you start to flip <coughs> the pages. Um, it's got the time, the date. The, uh, uh, the observation, very clearly laid out in columns that have been written in by ink. Uh, uh, and you can, you can see the, the matrices going back extremely consistently. The same handwriting, the same entry over and over and over and over and over again. This week, no ship sightings. Start to flip back, no ship sightings. Start to flip back, no ship sightings. Uh, back, no ship sightings. You start to flip back. No ship sightings. You've two, three months. You flip through. No ship sightings. You flip back uh, to the beginning of the book. No ship sightings. Oh, yeah, that's fascinating. You mind if I just peruse a couple of these uh, older logs? Please. Uh, some of our adventures are in there. It's really. Uh, it's it's in some ways a an artifact of our of our life of our relationship. There's there's so much. Uh, um, that, that we've been able to save to our sacred duty. When was the last time you uh, saw a ship? Oh, just a few days ago. Uh, there was a ship. Oh, can you uh, show me my my old eyes? I uh, I lost my uh, spectacles in the drink. Oh, you mind pointing it out to me? Sure, 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 sure. And he, he flips through and he points at what is very obviously an entry that says "No ships sighted." Aye. Uh, and what were the details of that sighting? How big uh, of a ship was it? They didn't turn towards us. It, uh, the weather was clear. Uh, we were able to see... Uh, Just saw uh, the light. Exactly right. Aye. Aye. And very clearly says no ship sighted. <coughs> uh, what is, what's the date of today, like, that he says, compared to what date I think it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I would say then it's... 
16 days would be would be what he's flipped back to in, in terms of the, what he's pointing at. But what I mean as far as the day the that... The year, right? So what's the year? So obviously what is the day that he pointed to today? Mm -hmm. That is today compared to what date I think it is. It's just after New Year's for us. Yes. I see. <laughs> what did what did sixteen days ago from what he's saying? Mm, yes, Barnabas, you're thinking, you're using your mind, you're using your mind yes. beams. Mm. That is good thinking. <laughs> Let us fucking go, Barnabas. You look at the most recent entry, and you think about the fact that you are perhaps ten days in, in Barnabas's reality. When you were at a campfire with Daisy, it would have been perhaps ten days after the new year. This entry appears to be about. the date that you think that you encountered the tower for the first time. Well, you know what, why did it just for thee, my curiosity, that young 21-year-old lad mm. who dreamed of being a wiki, you mind if I just peruse the rest of your, your tomes here just to see the great storied history and adventures no, you've no, no here changes. on this rock? No interference? No, no, not at all. Just, just read it through. Keep right? a quill or a pen away from me. Uh, this... Just always look, don't touch. You know, I've been to the, some of these it's, taverns. Should there be an audit? I need to make sure. That... <laughs> right. Yeah, well, Jesus. I would not want to interfere with any audit. <coughs> so you have please, my please. word. You, you have, you, yeah, absolutely. And you walk to the the bookshelves. Uh, Titan, we'll pick out a few more near. Uh, what are you doing in this in this moment before uh, we pick up again with Scrim and Queenie? Is there a second floor? To this building? To this, to the house. No, no, it is a single floor house. Uh, nor have you seen any um, entrances to a basement or anything along those lines. <coughs> have we seen a bedroom? You've seen two, or rather, uh, you would have oh been shown the bedroom that Queenie and Scrim uh, had started to make a home in, and uh, you know that across the hall is a bedroom where Ildan and Delia sleep. We have not seen inside that room. Only Scrim has, but you have not. The door would have been closed. He he walked in rudely and saw that it was lived in. Very rudely. Okay, he didn't see two skeletons in the bed. <laughs> not to my knowledge, no. <gasps> not to his it knowledge. Was just a lived not in to his room. knowledge, no. Okay. But you don't know that. I don't know that. This is just some done with horror shit. I'm fucking <laughs> so oh, not I, okay right now. I can't wait to shit my pants. <laughs> uh, I would. I think I would just stand in the back against the window and just kind of keep my eye outside to see if I ever see or hear any scent, any sound of life. Even like insects, you know, seabirds, crabs, Make anything. Make perception check. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Two and a five, so uh -uh. that is a uh -uh. ten. That's not bad, ah. man. That's a, that's a big plus. As you're listening to the conversation, you walk up and through thick leaded glass, you lean in and you can see just on the horizon, white light, what clearly is a storm approaching tonight. Scrim. Yes. Queenie. What As friends. are you doing? Uh, We're making our way towards the base of the lighthouse. Yeah, I, which is where we would be staying, it's where not the two far. rooms are. It's not far. It's like a 30 feet walk from the uh, entrance of this. It's, a, it's an adjoined house. I mean, I, there's, there's no way to get from the house into the stone column that makes this lighthouse. But you can walk out the front, walk to the front door, and there it is. I, I don't know how else to say this, but we're going up to the top. <laughs> Slowly, of course, you know, together. <coughs> I mean, it really depends. How much do you weigh? How much do I weigh? Not to be rude or anything. Well, if I'm three, between three and three and a half feet tall, and I'm a goblinoid, and I'm stick thin, I, I mean, I'm I'm six two, and I weigh 185 pounds, <laughs> and I rove for UC Davis. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Scrim might weigh 60 pounds. 60, is that heavy for a toddler? <laughs> he says fatheringly. Three and a half, three and a half, yeah, three, between three and three and a half feet tall, however a standard child would weigh, I, 60, 60 pounds? I don't know, that's a reasonable, that's, that's some, I, I say it's it's between 60 and 75 pounds, just handle it. Oh, wow, okay, I've been, I've been really going at the snickerdoodles. <laughs> All right. 75 well, pounds would be like a big golden retriever. Goblins are dense. 
All right. Well, that, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm a, like a dark a star of goblinoids. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah, we'll call it, let's, call it, let's call it 70. Mm -hmm. Let's call it 70. I, I'm going to do some math. We might retcon this. Maybe give or take one pound. Nice. Yeah. The standard deviation of a pound and a half. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Anyway. <laughs> well, what I'm thinking is I weigh a little bit less than you. And my bees can carry about 250 pounds. And if I'm doing my math right, and can't be sure I am, um, we would be fine for them to carry us up to the top. Zip we don't need to, up to go the top. inside, but we can at least maybe take a peek as to what's in there. Look, uh, the, I, the number of lighthouses I've seen, I, I can't count on one hand because it's zero. <laughs> uh, but I, certainly there's got to be a window or something up there, right? Yeah, we're just gonna have to, you know, we've gotta make sure that light's spinning around. We don't wanna look directly into that light, so we're gonna have to take our peek when the light's on the other side. Um, but yeah, I don't see any reason we couldn't fly up there and see if there's anybody else in there, see if there's anything in note, anything we should be worried about, some strange arcade, like arcane rooms that maybe if Barnabas goes in there, it's gonna suck his soul out of his body and trap it in some yeah. kind of horrific you know, decanter or something. Any time limit on the bees? No. Sign me up, let's go. What are we doing talking? Let's go. Be bees me up. <laughs> bees me up. Bees me up. me. Queenie, let's go. Bees well, me up, Queenie. If it wasn't this session, you would have got inspiration for that. that. That's very funny. Uh, and the bees will coalesce into a cute little rocket ship, and the little door will open, and Scrim and I will step inside, and they will. Start to What's the deal of rocket ship food? <laughs> <laughs> Their speed is 30 feet, yep. so they are slow. Uh, well, uh, I, I believe I modified and expanded their, their speed and, and, and carry weight. Uh, it does as, as I level up. Yeah, as you level increase. up. So we haven't hit that right next threshold. Right now they're still 30. Um, even so, in this space, in this strange experience, you ask them to create a rocket ship. Ask them to open a door to create this thing. You have a uh, special relationship with these bees. And as they emerge from around corners, from your honey pot, you can see that they are not feeling very well. They are sick. Oh shit. They are <laughs> sluggish and struggling to create the support that you think would allow you to make your way up the side of the lighthouse. Immediate concern hits you as you look at your allies, your very best friends, and you don't know why. Well, they're not real. Like, they're bees. But they're, they're made of fey magic. So what's going on? I don't know. I guess my magic's broken. Oh, I don't want anything to happen to him. I mean, if we, can't, if we can't make it, well, I don't want anything to happen to us either. I mean, like, we do we have to go back? We gotta go back down. Yeah, or we could just climb up the side. Oh, <laughs> Queenie, have you seen my arms? Come on, they're like noodles. Yeah, he's only sixty-nine pounds. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, our other option is try and break in the door. Uh, all, all right. Uh, let me just check. Uh, I mean, it might not be locked, but I'm assuming it's locked. Um, so we would have seen a spiral staircase on the inside of the light. You described it with windows and all of that. Yeah, yeah we, we gotta take the stairs. Let's just try. Uh, look, we've, we've got some options. Uh, we both can make something happen. If we if we encounter some sort of a lock or a door, we can bypass it. I, I, I'm very confident, extremely confident. Look at me, ha ha, we can do it. All right. We'll take the stairs. All right, let's do it. Do you walk over the front door? <laughs> <laughs> it's unlocked. Oh, this is great. We can go straight up. <laughs> we proceed. <laughs> you walk into what is clearly a ground floor. You can see that there are stairs leading to a basement, and you can see very obviously there are a uh, staircase. Uh, uh, a spiraling staircase that hugs the wall with consistent windows leading up. And you can see that there's a long uh, a column that leads up through the center, uh, hitting the first ceiling, what you can only assume is a second floor and perhaps floors above. 
No chance we go down first, right? No, of course not. Why'd we go into the earth? That'd be silly. <laughs> up we go. We could split up, you know. <laughs> I like the way you're thinking. Do you want to go down or you want to go up? <laughs> Why don't we flip for it? <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to flip for it, we're not doing it with one of your coins. Oh, come on. <laughs> My bloody, perfectly normal no, golden no, coin. No, 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 no. It's I'm a gold lucky. piece. It's, I have 178 and so of them. Is that, and so is that one that keeps coming back. Look, look, look. And I show, I'll show her the coin. Versus a regular gold piece. Come how on. Do I, how do I know that one doesn't have a face on both sides or something? Take it, and I will give her a singular normal gold piece. Look. I'm going to give this back to you. You were going to quickly switch it with something else. I'm not no, going to no. notice. No, 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 no. I'm placing the coin on the floor, and I'm taking a few steps away. You think that's the only coin I'm worried about? I toss it back at him. Whatever. Go ahead and fool me. <laughs> uh, I will flip a coin to decide so heads, who goes up and who goes down. Heads goes up, tails goes down. Perfect. You flip for yourself. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, you want to be heads or tails? Now heads goes up, tails goes down. You flip oh. it yourself. All right, and that's I'll right. The other one. Okay, heads goes up, tails goes down. We decided that the one is tails. Scrim is going <laughs> down. <laughs> no, Scrim. Look at it this way, buddy. You didn't like being up in that crow's nest or whatever <coughs> it was called, the bucket. Uh, uh, that's right. I, I'm a top man. <laughs> well, now, now you're a bottom bitch. So uh, I'll see you on the other side. I wasn't made oh, for that. You know what we should do, though? What? You don't have to look like you're in pain. You haven't even moved yet. Ah, uh, go ahead. All right. Well, we should have some kind of plan, right? Oh, uh, wait. Sure, what kind of plan you want? Well, I think we take ten minutes to explore and meet back here, and then decide from there if we need more time to explore or we feel like we should go together. We don't have any way to communicate. And, and I got some rope. Why don't we just tie some rope around our waists so that we're attached to each other? Uh, I'm worried that, you know, how many floors there are, I don't you know. I probably got 50, got 50 feet. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna work. But do you have 50 foot of him? Here's what, here's what we'll do. I don't. I have no rope. I got rid of the rope a long <laughs> time ago. Why would you do that? Uh, shooting blanks over here. <laughs> Somewhere uh, there's a pile of rope with a bunch of that. pythons next to it. Here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. Oh. 30 minutes. 30 no. minutes. We oh, meet no, back no, here. No. 30 minutes. No. 30, 30, minutes, 30 minutes is more than enough time for you to find some accidental alcohol, get completely plastered, fall down oh, a flat of Oh, come on! <laughs> well, then you'll be able to go look for me. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go up and down. Send Yornir after me. He's pretty but brave. But then I have to go tell Yornir what we did. 20 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> 15, I'm not going a second lower. 12 minutes. 15! 12 minutes. 14. 12 minutes. 13. 12 minutes. 12 minutes! <laughs> and I immediately go downstairs. I, without another word, I turn around, I storm towards the basement door, and I and I just go. I don't even hesitate. I because if I hesitate, so Scrim will panic, and he won't follow through. 12 minutes. You're 12 right. minutes. You, you walk down the stairs. With purpose. It spirals. And it's dark. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear your footfalls, and it's a little colder in here. It's a little damper. You get this whiff. Is that Bose? The oh, faint, no. The faint tang of oil oh. as you enter a storage room. Oh. And only the light that is coming in from the uh, uh, twilight of the outdoors uh, gives you a moment to, uh, and I assume that you have dark vision. You do. Probably. To... <laughs> Adjust your eyes to I have dark vision. <laughs> black and white, dim light, or nearly black, uh, pitch black of the surroundings. And you see a very neatly organized space. Crates uh, uh, of odd uh, tools. You can see um, what, are, what are clearly supply boxes for repairs. You can see uh, what is very evidently a storage room. I smell oil, right? Yeah. Are there any barrels that would be full of anything that would be potentially fuel or something to grease the? Uh, I'm I, basically what I'm looking for is is any sign that the supplies are empty as opposed to full. If there is barrels of oil that might be used to grease the 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 uh, the, the mechanisms, or if there is fuel for the lighthouse, and I want to know whether it's empty or full. Make an investigation check. At disadvantage. Yep. Yep, figures. 
Okay, well, this okay. is 17. Okay. Oh, I got double 17s. Oh. Because I'm a, I'm a, I'm just the best. Uh, you said investigation? It's an 18 total. I got plus one. That's huge. <laughs> Thank you. You're starting to come to the conclusion that it's only the food here that was missing. Fuck. And you make two connections at the same time. In this moment, you are finding the oil. You are finding the grease. You are finding the fuel. Uh, you are finding the wood. You are finding anything that it would take to run a lighthouse and keep it on so that there would be no accidents or uh, interruptions to the service that this provides, this necessary mercantile route. And you are remembering what tickled the brain of Scrim so long ago during, during dinner. When you f skip forward in time, you remember you were two rations down. Yeah, yeah. and you remember. Scrim didn't. Uh, I will take the, the tent, probably the, the total 12 minutes, right? However much time it takes to get down there and look around. Uh, with my last remaining minute, uh, I will take the coin that's, that Queenie threw back to me, and I would like to attempt to cast Idea. Okay. Uh, and basically, uh, I flip the coin, in an area, in the area, while thinking of a problem, and okay. the coin will vanish. Knowing you only have a few minutes left. Yes, uh, I only need one action to do this. Uh, I gain a plus five bonus to Arcana, History, Insight, Investigation, Medicine, Nature, Performance, Religion, or Survivability check uh, needed to solve the problem. If there is no, pr if there was one that doesn't require a skill check, then it's basically up to the DM to give me a hint. But I want to gather this coin, think about the hound, think about that horrific creature that I signed, that forced me to sign that contract, or I feel it forced me to sign that contract. And I, I think to it and I say, please, please give me something, something to tell me what's going on here. Something is horrifically wrong. And I'm hoping that maybe this person, this entity that has claimant to my soul, will, will somehow uh, get through the veil and, and give me some sort of hint as to what is potentially happening here. Why are we not seeing the food? Why is something, why, why do we feel to be uh, unstuck in time. And I flip the coin, and I watch it vanish, and DM, it is up to you. I think about that horrific, horrible face as I signed the contract this, that night so many moons ago. And I will use one of my two only spell slots to cast the tool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, if you say so. <laughs> I'm down to 177 gold. Wow, you've cast that 23 times? Remarkable. No, I think I gave some people some gold. I've cast it a few times, but not, not 23 yeah. times. Not 23 times. I've definitely given some people some gold. Grim. I'm sweating. <laughs> you uh, feel the magic leave your body as you uh, flip this coin. I'm waiting for that. Helmet. And you uh, see this coin oh, flip up into the air. Everything is uh -huh. in black and white. You only see uh, the contrast, the grays, the whites, <coughs> and the darks <coughs> of dark vision. And you wait for it to disappear something. and for something to compel you, to tell you, to uh, whisper in your ear or to an idea, for an idea to come to you. And you watch it, and it reaches its apex and falls down to the stone floor. <laughs> and you look at it. I need you to make a death saving throw. <laughs> what? You're kidding. No, I don't think he's kidding. Does he look like he's fucking kidding, Andy? Roll the fucking die. <laughs> I've made a what? mistake. I've made a mistake. <laughs> wait, do you still have some? Wait, wait, from these are hidden. These are hidden. These are hidden. Oh! Close your eyes, losers. Thank you. Thank you for respecting the icebound process. You shouldn't have to move too much. Just peek over here. Change the die. Yep, I did. Dies away. Can I look? Let us know again. You yeah, can reveal good. your eyes again. God. This pull as you look down, as you attempt to reach 
to something without to 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 attempt to uh, uh, pull a sick heavy weight hits the bottom of your stomach and you feel impossible right now uh, what what should have been a simple journey just to check out the space to explore and 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 you know only you only have few minutes before you need to get back up to Queenie you look down no idea comes to you you do not hear barking you do not feel a connection instead the attempt seems to have affected you in some grave way um some grim way given yeah, yeah given uh oh, god given what has happened i see the coin hit the ground uh and scrum hesitates for a moment and i sprint back upstairs <gasps> my 12 minutes being up 12 minutes have gone by, you're <coughs> counting. You're thinking about those seconds. You're like literally counting down from whatever 12 times 60 is. And you, uh, it's it's right on the on the second. Well, eight. no, I was going up. You're going up. Yes. Oh, you were yeah, going yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We She's are, gone. We both We've gone separate directions. So my apologies. So simultaneous okay. action. So we're winding in time. You start to make your way up the spiral staircase. I don't have to go down to the depths. <laughs> I'm going on up, going on up. I have to remind myself. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. I'm just Shut singing a, a little tune. Moving on up, that. moving on up. <laughs> I gotta sing that for Scrum. I think he'd like that. I'm gonna ride this lighthouse like a steer. <laughs> it takes you a while for you to, uh, 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 a, f- a minute or two to walk up the many spiral stair, uh, stair steps that you have to go up, but you eventually arrive at uh, what is clearly an engine room. Many gears and uh, 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 mechanisms designed to turn a central column <coughs> that goes all the way up. And you continue past that and into a watch room, a room that uh, is, is filled with books and uh, uh, filled with um, uh, places to sit, just to look out at the sea, out toward the northern sea of, of Striga, to see the horizon, and you can see that it is getting very dark now, and e- it is immediately apparent that there is a storm approaching. And you continue to make your way up from that space up to the lantern room, I presume. Mm-hmm. You'll have a few minutes here before Scrim arrives. But you do arrive, and you have an expectation that when darkness comes, that these lights need to be on, that there needs to be some form of illumination. There is no lantern. What the, what the H? (laughs) You look forward, and in the center of the room, there is an open, hollow hole. And (coughs) there is what should be a large lens that should be illuminated that would turn, and it would turn on a a groove. You might not know very much about lighthouses, but you do know that. I don't know much about lighthouses, but I know this. And you step (laughs) forward, and you can see that there is a moat. What would be sitting on a bath of quicksilver? You stare just down and you can see this still reflective pool like liquid metal sitting in this moat that should normally be housing a lantern sitting on top of it, turned by the engine room room below. But that is all that you're confronted with, aside from a couple doors that you could walk out and 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 see the the uh, 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 gallery if you wanted. Hmm. Well, what? When we were outside, did were there lights coming from the the lighthouse? No one had been manning it. Everyone had been enjoying dinner before nightfall. Hmm. Mm. That fair. stands to reason. Hmm. <laughs> well, stands to reason. Hmm. I'd just like to look around, see if I notice anything else out of the ordinary. Everything seems <laughs> to stand to reason. That stands to reason. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you, you do sort of take a quick look and sort of lean over the bath of Quicksilver, this strange metal substance. Your breath 
moves oh, it just, I like that just a little bit. But there doesn't seem to be anything here to create illumination. No, no lantern, so to speak. That's what but, but it strikes looks like you as the most unusual. Yeah, it's just missing. It's just missing. But it's it would be a really large lantern. Yeah, it should be as tall as the room that we're in now. You and me, Nikki. Does it look like the lantern has ever been there? Oh, it looks like a lantern should fit there. Yeah, but does it look like one has ever been there? Has ever been there? Or oh. at least recently. You don't see evidence, and I won't make you roll, that there has ever been a, a lens here. Nor do you see any evidence that one has been destroyed. Nor do you see any evidence that one has been moved out. It seems impossible to you that uh, an object of this size, <coughs> without being deconstructed meticulously and, and, and slowly taken out of the space before it would be reconstructed, would, wouldn't be in this space. And there'd be no reason to have this this weird liquid metal stuff in here either if you're just gonna take it away. And it's in that moment you hear footsteps behind you and you turn and up the stairs you see a pale face, a friend, the face of Scrim. What are you doing coming up here, Scrim? <laughs> Quinny, yeah. Quinny, don't, don't be mad. Don't I'm be not, mad. I'm not mad, I'm confused. <laughs> I, I, I took your you advice. You don't like to exercise, and you just ran up a lot uh, of stairs. Listen. Okay, sorry. I took your advice. Okay. And then I didn't take your advice. Okay. And I flipped a coin. Uh-huh. And the coin didn't vanish. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I had a brief, I had a brief moment where I thought I was free, but I'm not. I felt my soul, my soul, it was almost ripped from me in that moment. I fucked up. I fucked up real bad, Queen. I fucked up real I'm gonna bad. I'm going to rush over to Scrim and put my arm around, around you. Scrim, your soul's still in there, buddy. You felt a tug, yeah? I fucked up. Yeah, I know, but you wouldn't be saying that if you were soulless husk. I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I should I shouldn't have tried to use the magic. I shouldn't have tried to use it. No, I told you that, but now you know better. I don't know where we are. No, I don't either. But how about I distract you a little bit, all right? What what about the others? What about Yorny? He uses magic. If what I got a really bad feeling about this. If Yornia tries something, it could go really badly. Alright, and so once we're done talking about this and you've calmed down a little bit, we'll talk to Yornia, alright? Get out and, and you know what? He can even look at you and tell you that you're whole and complete. We have to get out of this lighthouse. We can't stay here. This ain't a lighthouse. What? There ain't no lantern. This ain't a house for light. There's no place for lights in here. I don't want to stay here anymore. <coughs> <coughs> we gotta go back to the others. I got you. I'm gonna wrap my arm around him and I'm gonna use like my rabbit hop to help us get down the stairs a little bit faster so he doesn't have to use as much. So. Your, your initial up. rabbit hop, uh, feel stiff. You you jump down and you magic. get you it's get really you get you get uh uh your first hop and you're like wow something is more is happening. Something is something more, more oh. is happening. I was like oh is this a more bound and happens? you are uh you take one hop and you realize you should probably just walk the stairs. Oh I fucked I fucked up. I fucked up. It's gonna be all right, buddy. It's gonna be all right. I, 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 I don't know. I don't you know what we'll do? We'll get some tea. We'll tell Yornier a lot of what happened. Maybe not all of it, but a lot of what happened. I have to tell him everything. Okay. I have to. I support you. We gotta get back fast. Oh, God. The it's gonna be okay. No. Queenie has no idea how to handle Scrum in this state, but she will walk him down the rest of the stairs and then out and back towards the house. You start to make your way down. What are the three of you doing? I will have taken whatever this time was, um, ignoring um, Il Ilbam, um, and just looking through to see if there is any kind of any adventure like that he mentioned. Or if it's all just no ships, no ships, no ships, and see how far it goes back. And I'll just grab one, like, and I'll do it like months apart. 
right, just you're, kind of. You're pulling each of these off. Yes. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy throughout. Uh, you do not seem to find any entries that uh, deviate. Um, you, 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 at the, at, by the end, you're just pulling it off and uh, pulling one of the, the books off the shelves, opening to a random page, seeing that that is true, and then closing it and putting it in. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem possible, but this feels like the log of somebody who has never seen a ship at a lighthouse before. While all of that is happening, do, is the wife in the room as well? She stormed off. She right? stormed off to like bed or something. Yes, she's oh, in to the, watch she's the waves. The, uh, she's in the bedroom. Yeah. Kill the wife. <laughs> Have you ever considered murdering your wife? <laughs> <laughs> While just joking, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. The three of them, or four of them, I guess, are sort of talking about navigation. I'm gonna try to sort of like quietly like shuffle out, like slip out. Not okay. like trying to sneak, right? But just kind no, of. No, no, no. I think it would be relatively easy, given how engaged everyone is with their <laughs> text, with the maps, um, for you to just walk out and be like, uh, "I'm on my own. I have, I have this time." And we've rewinded, so you've, you've got the amount of time that they spent to do what you need to do. I want to just sort of slowly like look around and starting to piece things together. I want to slowly approach the bedroom door and stop and see if I can hear anything from inside. You start to walk through the uh, living room space and I need you to make a perception check. And of course, disadvantage. You uh, fucked. Oh, you I are need to fucked. use different dice. You are turbo fucked. No, it's, this is just the fate of this <sighs> this realm. Eleven. Just embrace it. Embrace Eleven. it, man. Eleven. Uh, no, that's 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 more than. <coughs> uh, you. What? It's not fate. Um, you are walking through this space, and it strikes you. How could you not have noticed this before? Uh, there is a fireplace. It's brisk, and it's getting cooler this evening. Uh, uh, even a striggin summer in northern on the northern mm -hmm. coast would be would be closer to uh, a cold than anything and uh, you uh, look at the fireplace and instead of seeing a roaring fire or even the ashes of a fire it is stuffed with whole logs it is of an avalanche of logs it is never burnt never burnt just fresh logs, just thrown haphazardly against the space almost. That's what you notice before you cross through the living room. I'll sort of just take a quick second to sort of peer down and look through if I can see any gaps in the logs. Maybe like move a few out of the way and see if they were like burying it's anything. Enough, it's easy enough to pull them free and you seem to be just clearing an unburnt, unused I'll fireplace. Stack them nicely next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're able to create a, a full pyramid of them. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> curious or incurious. <laughs> don't kill me, dude. Elementary, my dear Taishan. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> great. Mm. Quite. Uh, with uh, the your near uh, emote doubt the, 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 the doubt emote that we have, yeah, that's I have, right. I have oh, that yeah. expression on my face as I stand up, and I will then proceed to the bedroom. Are there any windows? Uh, there's windows in every room. Okay. Are they openable? Yes. I will just very slightly open one, not far, just like a little bit. All, all of them, none of them open from the center out. All of them are heavy paned. Uh, you need, you would need to either unlock and then push out from one side or the other, and that's what you do. As I'll you do get that to. for one, for the one in the room I'm in, and then I will walk. I will approach the door uh, to the bedroom, and I'm, I'm trying to be quiet so she doesn't notice me, and I'm just trying to listen to see if I hear any horrible gibbering or anything else. Creepy witch stuff, I don't know. <laughs> Whispers of yellow. Our last name, name is Waitley. <laughs> make a stealth check. And make a perception check. 
both a disadvantage. Uh, you dreaded them both. Yeah, perception, or, perception or stealth wow. first? Stealth first. Stealth, stealth first. Stealth first. Stealth first. Get the bad one out of the way. Yeah, that's the bad one. You yeah. ignored the giant frost troll <laughs> shambling <laughs> through <laughs> the <laughs> elf for <laughs> humans. <laughs> for <laughs> humans. <laughs> And now uh, the good one. Now the good one. Perception. My mammoth does his clang. What was them. the other one? Perception? Perception? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one. Oh. Almost. Still 14. Okay. Oh, so, not bad. Not bad. The roll is six. You lean in. You know that your footfalls have creaked some of the boards. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, am, I am so tall. And <laughs> you, and all. <laughs> because you're not familiar with these boards and where you would need to step in order to steal, you've tried your best to position your weight against them, but walking through the hallway, there's been a few sounds. But you get to the door, and when you put your door up against your ear up against the door, you realize that it probably didn't matter if you stealed or not. You hear whispering. Fast whispers. The voice <coughs> hungers. Weave through the fabric. It hungers for the dance, a maddening waltz of endless despair. Beneath the moon, secrets fester like blooms. Time fractured continuum. A maze, a maze of forgotten truths. Pulses within an echo of eons' heartbeat. The stars tremble, singing a forbidden sonata of timeless sorrow. Embrace, embrace a cradle of shadow woven by the hands of forgotten deities. <gasps> you hear this string of words that feels like insanity, like madness to you. Are there rafters? In this house? Raptors? No, I don't think so. <laughs> the door's loading. <laughs> you see a cow getting lowered down into Try a pit. Try the sea bass. Yeah. Yeah. Jillian sea bass. <laughs> um, <sighs> Sorry. Help me understand the intent of your rafter question, because I think the answer is yes. Well, he just Are there to have a beams park. Yeah. in the ceiling yeah. that I could then be on top of? Oh, no. Okay. No, there is a ceiling. There are floor. beams, but. But they're in the. But, they're but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it's, it, it's not a thatch roof yeah, yeah. house. No, it's not a thatch roof house. Thatch roof cottage. Um, exactly. There, there's clearly an attic to this space that you might be able to get up to. But other than that. Do I see an inch of the attic? Orny raptors. No. Um, is the door closed entirely? <clears throat> it appears to be completely closed. Uh, I will glow blue, and you'll see me shrink three feet, as I will use minor illusion to take the form of her husband. Disguise self. You With disguise to. self. Disguise self? To. Yeah. Okay. You do that, and you feel the magic within you, your innate blood, succeed. You fucked up. <laughs> you shrink that uh, as far down as you could possibly leverage to create that illusion. And you start to move forward when you dizzy for a moment. You, there's a heavy weight at the bottom of your stomach, and you start to Realize that the warping feeling is uh, more than you can bear. I need you to make a death saving throw. <laughs> I told you you fucked up. I didn't oh. know. No, no, no. Of course you didn't know. I'm not. Oh, that's right. I'm I'm I actually thought that was just a scrim thing. The scrim was on his way to tell everybody. He's going to turn into the alpacas of the color out of space. Just let us know. Let us oh, know. Shit. I didn't see what it was, but okay. I was No, it's all good. Okay, more. give me the sign. <sighs> okay, uh, you can change your dice. Let's hide oh. that. Yep. We and and, and, and we you can reveal, saw, you can reveal your eyes. I definitely, I purposely looked at Derek when I opened. Um, <sighs> you shrink. And you feel very strongly. It worked for him? You can feel very strongly that the magic has taken hold. 
This is horse shit. Proximity <laughs> to the lighthouse. <clears throat> I will knock gently on the door. What was your name? I would remember this, right? Yes, Dahlia. it's Delia. 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 Yeah, Delia. you would remember Delia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. easily. <coughs> Who is it? Um. Open up, Snooker. I, <laughs> I will open the door. And you walk in, and it is unlocked. And I will say, I'll put my finger to my mouth. I'm gonna look very seriously at her. I will open the God, window. Which is a genius. And I will point to the horizon if I can to show her that the storm is coming. God, you're so fucking brilliant. Yes. I know. Yeah, Um. While I am in there, I like try to like sort of casually glance around the room to see if I can see like Skeletons is she reading bed. anything? Are there figures in the bed? <laughs> I'd say without a roll, you look around and it seems that she has just stood up from sitting on the edge of the bed. It looks like a lived in bedroom. Nothing strikes you as immediately strange or unusual in this moment. Is there anything slithering under the sheets? Yeah, does she have like a tentacle arm? What the fuck? I will mouth to her. They are listening. And I'll point out. Out. But I won't I won't speak. I won't use my, my vocal cords. Who gives a shit <laughs> if they are listening? We have bigger problems here. George. I will look very seriously concerned, and I'm gonna sit on the bed, and like just be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and as I sit in the bed, I'm gonna like sort of try, throw the, the blanket aside to like make to room see for if my. Any skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> I, I check for skeletons. How the hell to say this? <laughs> I check for skeletons. There's no elegant way to say this. The, um, not check for skeletons. <laughs> you don't find any skeletons. You sit down and. Uh, it feels like a soft mattress beneath you. A moment of lucidity, okay? Or are you going to shrink back and be whatever this is? I'm gonna mouth, who are you? <laughs> I'm not Delia, if that's what you're asking. Are you... Ilban? Now? Oh, I'm Mouth George. This is our one chance for escape. Understand? We cannot fuck this up. You have to man up. Do you understand? Um. Hold on. I just want to make sure she, I shouldn't Take use any spells. I, I am losing my fucking mind. Take your time. You've given me irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> I know. How the fuck am I going to sleep tonight? I'm going to sleep for a month. Okay. And so the, it just, there's no, it just seems like a bedroom. Seems Nothing out of place. Seems like a bedroom. Um, I'm going to mouth, again, out of false concern. Like trying to kind of be like, oh, why are you like even using words like this mouth to me? But she doesn't care. Just to kind of try to play that part. So Your caution <laughs> is a poison that infects us. Fuck. You're a pathetic shell of a man, don't you understand? I'm gonna almost like They kind of... will die. Is she single? We will die. <laughs> More will be dead. Not dead. Worse than dead. Do you understand me? Am I whispering enough for you? I'm gonna mouth one more time. What do I do? When the storm comes, and 
there, watching the horizon, we have to get to the cave, get the boat, and try to return to the wizards, the willow trees on the coast. Cave, and I'm gonna motion to the west side of the island. Let's see if she corrects me. To you mean you're 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 pointing to the thin line where the 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 coastline is? Is it? Uh oh. Are we still streaming? We're good. Oh, uh, we've just switched over to PBS, everybody. Today's program is brought to you oh! by generous donors like you. I really hope oh my you God. point to the That's western fucked up. coastline. That is that, so fucked up. So I didn't touch it. Are we actually streaming? No, it's okay. Oh, Are we still so so on the okay. screen? Okay. We're good. No okay. drops. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Our entire God. screen that we have right in front of me that we all look to for, like, chat and gifts and all of our shit. It's our North Star and it died. <laughs> it just turned, it just switched over to cable for no fucking reason. Yeah. Oh. Everybody breathe. This nightmare is <laughs> brought to you by generous <laughs> donations of viewers like you. Generous donations. Uh, what I'm trying to do, basically like tell her is I'm confirming, oh, the cave is on the west side of the island. And I'm going to point to whatever direction I think is west, where we went, if it's somewhere over there. Oh. With the intention of she's like, no, I you see. idiot. It's on the east side of the island. I see, I see. Yes, southwest. You have to rappel down. Are you okay this time? I'm gonna look super pathetic and sad and be like, mm. God, you're such a, I love this. <laughs> I'm, Rich, gonna, I'm gonna leave the window open. At least like, I don't know, at least eight inches. You mad fucking genius. And I will sort of just hang my head, look pathetic, and leave. Slink out. What a fucking Chad as move. You, as you start to leave, we'll see you there when they are distracted. We can finally leave this place. But I hope as we rappel down that you drown in your own cowardice. And I'll just shake my head and leave. Shut the door behind me. And you leave and you cross through the living room, and... <laughs> Holy fuck. Dude, that was some clutch shit, man. For real. And you are free with this information. For a moment, you feel as hollowed out as you are from your use of magic in this space that you have ha had a tre tremendous boon of information. And I'm just gonna basically rush over to the room that they showed us, drop, the, drop it, and then like, just compose myself while you this. I'm running the universe, so that was very intense for me. <laughs> Where is everyone? You are both Queen we're, and Scrim. We are we're actively your way down. trying to get back to the rest of the group as quickly as possible. Yes. Taishan and Barnabas. I'm and just looking through, through basically the whole time. Through. I'm basically looking through, and then whatever taishan has been doing. I, I mean, I would have been looking at the map, but I think I think when it's revealed that the like the poles are directly opposite and it it uh, starts to come together, uh, I'd try and get over to Barnabas and like compare notes and see what he's doing. As before, you do uh, the captain. Can you can you map? Look at look at this. Look here here on the bottom of his map. There's no island where our our map had an island. This, that, it, this must be an older older drawing. It's remarkable. How old would you say that is? What how, what is it to miss an entire island? I mean, I uh, bought it within the year of our of our of our leaving. So it it, it, it uh, surely surely this is an older map. I mean, we're on the other side of the world, right? So it's <laughs> there's we we knew there was an island there though. But it can't be. I mean, for an entire island to to join a map, I that would, that would be. I don't know a lot about cartography or or. Islands, but it, I mean, it would be years, right, to for something to change in such a way. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. it, 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 no matter. Soon as this will all be behind us. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, I suppose you should show me how this uh, lamp works, 
So you may enjoy a night of relaxation and uh, and privacy with your bonny lass, eh? You're speaking with the captain? Uh, no, I'm I'm just I'm talking to uh, George Ilbon. or oh. Ilbon. Oh. 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 Uh, no, I have to get upstairs. I need to uh, uh, finish preparations, get the engine room running, uh, make sure that the lens is prepped, make sure it's clean, and then start my watch. I've got an all-nighter in front of me, unless you are determined to help. I, I insist. Like I said, no, the dream I, of a younger man. I would still like to show you the ropes. Why, thank you. My pleasure. I'll join you. It's nice that someone is polite in this. Space. Uh, please, um, make yourselves at home. Uh, Barnabas, if you'll join me, we'll make our way up. And you all start to make your way into the living room. And I would say at that moment, all of you find yourselves looking at each other with the exception of Delia. It is very clear. The moment that you lay eyes on Scrim, no matter how much bitching, complaining, whining, screaming he's ever done, you've never seen him shed a tear until now. There are tears in Scrim's eyes. As he looks pleadingly at Barnabas, Tai Shen, and if your near is there, yep. your near as well. Mr. Stabiscot. Everything all right, lad? Uh, no, no, no. So we're still in the room with George. And the captain. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ilbaun, the captain, and the five of you are all in the living room now. Uh, you've walked in through the front entrance with a teary-eyed scrim. You've just walked back from the bedroom, having had your encounter. Uh, you both have walked in from uh, the, the uh, library room, essentially, the uh, space where he showed you the nautical maps and the logs. You've all come together in this space. I was organizing the firewood. We need more. Yes, we must collect more. It's going to be a cold night, and uh, I'll be warm enough up, up there. Uh, I've got plenty of blankets and, and what have you, Barnabas. You'll be fine, I hope. Oh, I am accustomed to the cold, eh? But uh, for you, uh, a nice warm fireplace. Uh, I don't know how tired you are, but use as much fuel as you like. We'll have plenty of fuel in the morning when relief comes. Did you see the storm on the horizon? Delia told me, and we are wa watching it. I've made records in my log of it, and I, uh... If I had to guess, it won't reach us. Just a gut instinct. No, it smells like a storm, I reckon. Well, I was just about to uh, to head up to the top of the lighthouse with our, our host here uh, and, and spend the night on watch with him. I'm looking at Scrim. And well, you could do that, or because you're new at this, you could let our generous host go up and get started, and then you can meet him up there shortly. So that way you don't get in the way when he's at least preparing things for the night. I would be happy to prime things for you and then I can show you what I've done. That way you don't have to do it all from scratch. Um, I would have normally said complete nonsense, Scrim, what are you talking about? But seeing the the, look, the tears in Scrim's face, the <coughs> look on his face and Queenie's face, I will sudden, I'll have a complete and utter change of plan. And I will say, you are too kind. I appreciate your generosity and your hospitality. I will join you in, uh, within the hour. Uh, you go ahead and get started. Do not wait up for this old man. I'll be up shortly. Oh, thank you. And he walks through the front door, and you find yourselves alone there with the captain. Take a walk, I tell the captain. <laughs> Take a walk? Take a walk. That's his nice way of telling you to get out. I'm not gonna get out. I, I, I thought we were here to... Uh, I thought that was very clever, that we were, we're finally all alone to chat. Look, you're gonna be dead in two weeks. We don't have anything to say to you. 
dead in two weeks? Captain, I think what they're saying is that our, our generous host would benefit greatly <laughs> if you would potentially help him carry some of his belongings to the lighthouse to get him started. I'm sorry. Dead in two weeks? Would you not remember what Yornir told you? It could be a lot sooner. I know that there's a lot of strange things going on, and I want to understand what you mean. <laughs> I... I've seen it in the weird. You will die in two weeks. I'm telling you so you can do with the rest of your time what you will. How? Some form of divination? I don't... Can I... Yes, some form of divination. The land has spoken to me. The triad has spoken to me and they have shown me your death. How does it happen? The land will take you. That is all I know. What Mr. Yornier is trying to say, we have neither the time nor the resources to waste on specters. Now take a walk, sir. Captain. I think I'm going to hear news like that and just go on my merry way? I can't. I can't do that. What did you see, Scrim? Did you use magic? You know, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I, I thought maybe back all those days ago on that cliff when you all told me that whatever's been hunting me might be helping me, might not want me dead. I, I called on it. I called on them. I flipped a coin. I asked for help and the coin just hit the ground. All of a sudden I felt my soul tear from my body. I, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's this place. I don't know if it's any of you, but I would not try to call on any sort of outside magic, the weave, whatever you call it. I have the feeling that if I try again, I will die. All right, you told me I died once. Well, we, we did, Mr. Stavisconch. I can feel it now. Tapping. Just tapping, it's right there. And if I try again, I'm not gonna make it back. Whatever is here, Mr. Stabiscotch, is far worse than the death that we experienced at the hands of Mr. That, Clemens. That's, that's not helping, Parnipos. And I'm gonna run over to Scrim and put my hands on, on your hands. I felt it too. We're not gonna let anything happen to you, all right? Oh, thanks. Thank you. Whatever is here, masqueraded, as my lover. Mockery of the sea, mockery of the sky, and the line that connects them. Whispers to me from my own shell. Not even masquerading her voice, not even attempting. Whispering the ramblings of the drowned. Barnabas, I need you to listen to me for one minute. All right? Aye. Right. When we were with the ogres, and I popped out of existence. Aye. Right. I went somewhere that I don't even want to begin to think about. All right, some, some deepest, darkest reach of hell. All right, they thought they sent me to go see some god, right? It wasn't Sophilith. I didn't go see Sophilith. I saw brimstone and ash and a moving city with more legs than you can ever count in your entire life. And you know what happened when I flipped that coin and I called on those people? I, I almost died. Here? They don't have claim on my soul. So what the fuck does? I... This place. Felt it too. I nearly died. Using my innate magic. Core to my people. If I were to do it again, I would... Almost certainly perish, I know that. 
So what is going on here? That, that your triad and those horrific demons can't reach us. Where the fuck are we? We are within the pillar. We are within the star. Whatever this place is, whatever Mr. Yornir saw on that star, it's, it's found us. It is not a place. We are not in the place. We are state of being. We what have the fuck are you talking about? We told you to take a walk. I'm not gonna take a walk. Well then shut up then. <laughs> what? <laughs> Captain, you may do whatever you like. I will not pretend like I have any right to command my captain, as damned as he may be. But do not harry us for what we must do next. I don't care if whatever this thing is that has lured us here, has trapped us, perhaps it's feasting on our souls as we speak, whatever whispered to me, whatever voice I heard, I will not let it have me. I will not die without seeing my lover again. If there's a being here that brought us that's so powerful that if we try and use any form of magic, it, it, it damages our very souls, then we have to get out of here. When we looked at the, the globe with Ilban, he pointed out that the tower in Drakkar was on the exact opposite end of the globe to where we are now, supposedly. I can't trust anything that, that man says. Scrim and I went to the lighthouse. That's where this happened. There is no lantern in the lighthouse. What? There is no light to tend. There is no light to keep. There is a pool of liquid metal and a place where a lantern should be, but no lantern probably has ever been. There was no sign that one had been there, that one had been removed. <coughs> there is no light in the lighthouse. So if it's not a lighthouse, it could be uh, a sister, a companion to the tower in Drakkar. Sure, it could be, but he's claiming to tend it like a lighthouse. You can't trust what he says. They are using false names. What? All of this... What? What? ...is a front. The man's name is actually George. What kind of shitty name is George? I don't know. I've never heard it before. But, I don't know the wife's name, but I know it is a false name as well. The gibbering, you heard? Aye. She was speaking it too. You think that she's doing this? They both have a plan. Make sure, like, we're nowhere near where the door of the room that she's in. We're, 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 we're... You, you, you may have already transitioned into the kitchen. Oh, if we're in the kitchen, You're like on the other side. The second that he starts saying this, I'm looking around for a knife. Like, I, I can't summon the blade. I need a weapon. If I summon the blade, I'll die. I, I can't access my magics. Ah, Mr. Sabascotch, and I'll give you my uh, paring knife. <laughs> it's no brutal blade, but it is a knife. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm like wild-eyed. Like, like. Sweating like craziest scrim you've ever seen ever. I've gutted many a BC with that thing. It'll do you fine in a pinch. And the good thing is, I don't <coughs> need the power of my lover to heave this. And I'll hold up the anchor. I never thought I'd say this, but we have to go back to Drakkar. We can't stay here. We gotta go back to the frozen hellscape! They have a plan. What? They're waiting for the storm. The storm will come. They believe it will distract us. They will rappel down the cliffs on the southwest side of the island. There's a cave. Some sort of ritual or something that will bring apart our deaths is their plan. That doesn't make any sense. How did you learn this? I may not have your respect anymore, but I am still a captain. To leave in the middle of a storm from a lighthouse? There's a reason a lighthouse is here. <laughs> right? It would be surrounded by vicious, jagged rocks. You can't sail in that. 
They plan to leave and find, <clears throat> I think, that, uh, uh, priests and willows and... You said wizards, wizards. right? Well, wizards, not priests. They're looking wizards? for wizards and perhaps the mainland. <clears throat> they plan to leave and get off of the island during the storm. Let's go now. Yeah, yeah, can we beat them? Can we beat them? Can we beat them in the cave? I mean, they'll, they'll never even know. The storm has to be how many miles off? How much time? <laughs> there, has to time. Be, there has to be more to it. If they could leave at any point and they're trying to escape, why haven't they left already? Why wait for the storm? Why, why wait for us to be here? We wait for them in the cave and then we slit their fucking throats and then we get the fuck out of here. We have another option. We could just kill them now. I don't like that idea, Mr. Yornir. Why not? Because if they need to trap us here, if there needs to be some souls bound to this god's forsaken rock, if we kill them, does it then take ours? Uh, he might be right. If there are prisoners here, do we want to take their place? She seemed very desperate to leave. You might be right. We could find the cave, though, before the storm comes, before they go. We must leave now. What can I do? You keep an eye out for them. Oh, wait. We have to think about this. Right? I mean, if this is what happened, or... <laughs> Ah, will happen, or maybe already did. He's gotta make it out with us, right? What? <sighs> I don't know. And me fucking either. You're probably right. If we leave before two weeks is up, then perhaps the weird <gasps> can change. What? Oh, that's right. But how do we know if time here works the same as time out there? It could already be two weeks out there. You need to tell me what happened. I don't understand. Nine words out of ten. We'll explain on the way. Perhaps these wizards will be able to help us. Okay. Right? Magic brought us here. It must have. It has to be the only thing that can get us back. Let us go. Lead us to the cave. We'll get the captain caught up, right? All in agreement? Yes. Right. Ah, Tell yes. him everything. And I want to start leading the gang. Uh, do I get that innate sense from my walking stick that I still know where North is? Ooh. Dizzying. Turning. Oh. It's like fucking Blair Witch Project. I will attempt to lead them to the southwest. Whatever. I don't think that it would be difficult. Okay. It is strange to hold on to a reliable sense <sighs> that you've had for so long and know that it is off its kilter. But you can look around, and there's still just enough daylight left where you can see that thin coastline, where you can see uh, uh, what is an endless expanse of sea, where you can see where the shallow end of the island and the cliffside exists. You have a general sense of what northwest, east, and south look like. And as you all start to walk, you hear this... <sighs> <sighs> what is that? Strange sensation. Two weeks, you said? What do you feel? I feel a pull. I feel dizzy. So, did I feel a pull and feel dizzy? You felt a soul feeling. I don't know if you felt dizzy about it. Do you feel crushing cold around your skull? No. No, instead I feel a... Ah! Oh! And his leg breaks in front of you. No! As he falls to the ground, holding his limb. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! What? Oh. Ah! Oh. Why? What? No! Please, please!
Cleese, he's looking all around. He's turning to each of you, looking at, and, and he's, he's just fallen, just there in front of the, the building. And you all feel that echo, that rhyme, that repetition, looking down at him, knowing what he is going through. This is How? Not... It hasn't happened yet! We're not there! We're not on the other side! We are changing things. No, no, we no, We are no, leaving. No. Pick him up and carry him. Let's go. Oh, no, no! You can heal it! You can heal it, right? You can heal it! I Please. cannot. I'll turn and I'll just I'll keep going. Whatever you say, Mr. Yornir, I'm just gonna... Uh, you keep your fucking mouth shut, and I'm going to sling him over my shoulder, and I'll, I'll reach down, I'll, I'll grab a piece of whalebone, bite this. He he, he does, uh, and uh, you can feel the pain that he is in, and you know he's going through the same <coughs> sensations, the same reverberating pain that he had gone through before. But the five of you continue to make your way. Where are you going? Your name. I can heal him. No, you will not heal him. None of us. But this isn't how it happens. If you attempt to heal him, you will lose part of your soul. We cannot change fate. His fate is written in the yeah, weird. But, right, that's my point, but it's not happening the way it's supposed to happen. And I don't know why that is. But as far as I am concerned, his fate is sealed. None of us will do anything to change it. Oh, you're right, Mr. Yornir. Lead the way. Just cave, get, just bugs, get us, get us, wizards, yeah. willows. Cave. We just, all just need to stay alive with our souls. All right. Just get us to the cave, please. Please. I will keep trudging forward. You all hear this low rumble of thunder in the distance, and you know that uh, the waves are getting stronger, crashing, crashing against the side of these cliffs and you uh, start to make your way. What you think is the path is a precarious one. Barnabas, you are carrying the captain. He is holding on to you, clutching, struggling, and he pulls the whalebone out from his mouth. Barnabas, is this how it happened? Is this what happened to me? Barnabas, please. It'll be quicker than that. You'll be luckier. Thank the gods. <laughs> Fuck. I have to tell you a secret. Is now the time, Captain. Please. Go I don't on. know when I'm gonna go. Go on. Two weeks and already this? Hi. My son. You must tell him I love him. You must tell him that he's gonna be okay. No one else knows. Where's your son? You know him as Roland Stonebridge. But he's just learning the ropes from his old man. Hi, <laughs> Captain. I think I can do that. I'll tell him when we find him. And we get him off of the frozen rock of Jakar. That you were proud of. <coughs> How does that sound, Captain? Thank you. Thank you. And you continue to make your way down down the path to the cave. And that's where we'll take a quick break. Holy shit. The six of you make your way down the side of the cliffs. It is precarious. It is wet. It is being hit by waves that are seemingly getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But you find your foot, your, your footing, and you make your way down, 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 and you're looking for some path, some light, perhaps, uh, or some indication that there is a cave in the first place based on what Delia told you're near. And you find the side of the cliff. There is an opening, an outcropping, and you do find that there is an entrance. What are you all doing? Do we feel like we can get down there without using like a rope and repelling? Yeah. 
Yeah, I would say I would say that it would be extremely steep. You know, uh, there 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 are points where you have to turn and actually make and your like, way down, and one mm, one at a time, yeah. it, it, it is slow moving. And as you are making your way down, all of you look up and <coughs> you see light coming from the lantern room. It is dark now. It is night, and you can see what? that whatever. Ilbon is doing has produced illumination in two directions, Fuck. turning <coughs> and twisting. And just above that, you recognize a stable star. The apex, the zenith, just above the lighthouse. Doing what you can, you shift and slip and slide down and eventually, slowly, one at a time, carefully, meticulously, make your way to the base of the side of this cliff, and you're able to look into the entrance of this dark, dark cave. Did anyone keep the spyglass from the ship? You mean, like, way, way, way no, back in the day? from the Moorbound. Like I think it, it sank. Yeah, it's, I don't we, think we were going back to Pilfer it, and it, yeah. it base the ice took it almost as soon as we got back. Yeah, yeah. I will have tucked the knife that Barnabas gave me, like into my waistband, until we got to the bottom, and I will have immediately drawn it. And I am Scrim is ready to kill, basically <coughs> like anybody that is not someone that he recognizes. Mm -hmm. He is he is more concerned about <coughs> eliminating these these wikis uh, and protecting his friends than he is about his immediate surroundings. When when we left the house, would we have been walking away on the side that uh, that the bedroom was on? <clears throat> uh, no. You would have been walking That's on... That's like the opposite side yeah, of the, the house? Yeah, the opposite side. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um... We have to be prepared for whatever we could find in here. The, the, the captain was screaming just right outside of the house. We don't know if that alerted Delia, and if she potentially knows that we were coming this way. If she knew the path here, she, she could have beat us here. We don't know what lies in this cave. No, even no. If we had a head start, and if anybody steps foot in this fucking cave, I'm gonna slit their throats. Boy, that's the spirit, Mr. Stavascotch. We're just weaker for it. If, if half of us can't use magic, what, what, could, what could I do? Grab a rock and bash their fucking heads in! Or you just get out of my way, Mr. Fire Blossom. You and I'll use my anger to bash their skulls in. It's, it's an elderly human couple. What are they going to do to us? Do not forget you have the teeth of a dragon. <laughs> How dark is it? Very. So yeah, now, now, like that the, now that the sun the, the sun is down, uh, it is it is nearly pitch black against the side of this rock, and it is precarious. I have dark vision. Yeah, yeah. You is do. it working or is it like magical dark? It's working. It's okay. uh, well, yeah, I, I, whether you consider dark vision to be magical or not, it's like yeah, it, it, like I mean, can Okay. Then I would say uh, Scrim would quickly <coughs> propose that maybe Barnabas lead yeah. everyone deeper into the to, to the cavern, and Scrim would take up the the rear for a change, and basically walk backwards into the cave, keeping an eye on the mouth as we go deeper. If that's what we all want to do, yeah. Scrim will be waiting for anybody who uh, decides to step into this cavern with murderous intent. Okay. You, you wait and watch and make sure that there are no followers. Um, go ahead and make a perception check. I'm beyond it. Oh, at, at disadvantage. Well, perception is where I'm a Viking. It's a four. Roll again. So that's going to be bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Scrim got a six. You feel very confident that you hear no sounds against the sound of crashing waves, that you are looking up the, 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 the wall with your dark vision uh, and, and looking at the path. It doesn't seem that Fuck you're me. being followed at, at this time. You, you win this one, Derek. And Captain. Barnabas, you, yes. Yes, you hang on to the netting for dear life. 
And if you feel an enemy behind you, you grab one of the harpoons and you try to stick it with a pointy end. You think you can do that? I asked you a question, Captain. Yes. Yes. I think I, I think I, I think I got this. And don't fall off. I'm not coming back to fetch you. You understand? I'll be here. I'll be here. All right. <laughs> Deeper we go. And you start to lead your way. It does not lead you very deeply before you realize that uh, there is on the uh, high tide of this evening uh, a boat that is uh, to uh, strapped to a post, uh, uh, literally uh, roped there. It is, it is um, uh, sitting, and it looks like a rowboat that could fit, perhaps, the six of you. I look to see how many oars there are. Four oars. Four oars? Four oars. Okay. Uh, thank the gods that we can all fit. Well, I've got two oars. Who else has experience rowing? I do. All right. I don't have experience, but I could row. Mr. Fire Blossom, just use your dragon eyes. Rabbit ears. Goblin eyes and pointy knife. Mr. Yornier and I will row. You look at the captain, and he is clearly without oxygen. His face is turning blue. Even in this dim light, you can see that he is struggling to breathe. And he is clasping against his face. He is struggling, pulling against his face, trying to understand why he cannot take breath. I will... Not now! I'll, I'll flip him over, and I'm gonna try to, like, Heimlich him, to, like, I'll try to do some kind of compression to see if it does anything, and if that fails, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Make a medicine check. Oh, this is so brutal. I hate this. I'm, I'm, oh, like deep, I'm deeply God. unsettled and upset. <laughs> Medicine? This is <laughs> an 11. An 11. Um, you uh, don't feel the need to punch him in the face because as you turn him, you see the same face that you saw when his head was engulfed in a sphere of ice put there by the Princes of Wrath a short time after you, a half a day's travel after you discovered he broke his leg. And he is on the edge of death, looking around wildly, confusingly, unacceptably. <coughs> we'll save your son, Captain. We'll save your son. Rest now, Captain. And I'll, like, I'll just grab him, and I'll just hold him as gently as I possibly can. You try to give him what comfort you can in the Rest now, moments, Captain. And... Sleep. Sleep. He stills. Your son's gonna be all right. Your son's gonna be all right. I will... step into the bow and just lay him gently down. When you lay him down, his body folds into the space. And you realize you're not looking at the captain anymore. You were looking at a cloak. A cloak? Yeah. His face no longer, it shifts and fades. His hands wither and pull into long sleeves. His body ri rises and changes. There's a warping moment where you realize that you're not looking at the captain anymore at all. And it starts to pull away from you, slipping up into this dark cavern, pulling up and up and up starting to lift and rise to the occasion. It's moving on its own. Yeah. Is it and filling you out? All, and you all see this. Is it like, what, is sorcery? It like filling out? Does 
Scrim is speechless. He's does trying to vomit. the vague shape of it remind me of, and maybe this is too much. No, it's 100 Does it remind me of the cloaked figure that I saw in the in the star? I would say that you are uniquely positioned <coughs> to look at it, even in this dim light, and go, that is the same silhouette that oh, I saw what? against the star-backed light that I saw before I was brought here. The robe and the star, if it's the same. That's Dude. enough for me! I'm gonna grab my anchor and just try to just fucking yeah. shred I say, this I, thing. And I, I, I throw the you both try to race, hook it. You both race yeah. forward. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh, oh my god! god. god. <laughs> Oh, I hate this! Oh! Holy shit. Shit. I'm gonna throw up. Are you dreading us? No. Oh. Alright, I, I need a different d20. I'm at advantage! Oh, I did okay. I did, I did okay. I did okay. 13. Not bad. Seven. Something's gonna happen. Good. Oh, I can't do it in a fun. 12. 17. Burn both? Uh, 20, uh, <coughs> 22. 22. 22, yeah. Oh, jeez, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. You all start to race forward. Taishen, you race forward as well. <laughs> but you are no longer in a cave with your friends. Huh? You are... <laughs> <laughs> You're on an island. You're an island, on an island. Uh, it is middle of the day. Uh, it is uh, a, a, a beautiful, um, uh, cloudless day. The sea is calm. You've been light housekeeper of this space for so long, well, as long as you can remember. And the day's duties are young. For a moment, you get to enjoy the salty air. For a moment, you get to enjoy uh, uh, peace. And you think about the power that wells within you, the gift that was given to you by Fu Zhao, and why you have taken up this sacred duty of taking care of this space, of making sure that those who are on the coast are no longer uh, threatened by making sure that the lighthouse is, is clear and you turn and start to walk back up to make sure that the light is still sound. Well, it's a beautiful day to save ships. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Oh, oh my god! god! You have to be kidding me. No! Ah! I gotta go. I can't stay. Do you need our, our initiative? I have them written down right here. Okay. You got we, will, we will pick up exactly here tonight, to, uh, next next month. We have to wait a whole fucking month? <coughs> and it's like more than a month, kind of? No, no, it's exactly one exactly month. Exactly a month? Exactly. Oh, because we're late into the, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Holy we're not done. Shit. Don't leave. Shit. I uh, am speechless. <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Me, me, it's so me. bright and so vivid.